Now I'm gonna need another light for down here. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. <laughs> You're a writer, right? Where is Brush by Wings of Something Dark from? It's true, as a writer I know where everything is from, and I don't know where that's from, so therefore uh, that doesn't exist. That's, that's a Baldur original, uh, or unpublished. I don't know, is this a Homestuck reference? Busy, sleepy morning? Uh, you have no idea. <laughs> Four hours sleep, and it was bad sleep too, and then rush to take the dogs out because i can't take the dogs out if lily's not here well i could but it would be a process i would have to figure out a way to do it and it's not worth figuring out when it happens so infrequently and then looking after the kids and having a having a coffee just to stay awake spent like two hours just walking around the house because if i knew if i sat down in the armchair or anywhere i would fall asleep <laughs> so uh and then and then we had food, and Lily's uh, hair hair dyeing, uh, I don't know, appointment went over time a little bit, not not big time, but a little bit. Go to bed, pop up. First of all, this is not how it works for me. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to sleep even if I did go to bed. And secondly, I would ruin my schedule. My schedule is something that needs to be, it's like an exercise regimen. I, I have to stick to it. Like I have to put considerable effort to try and steer my schedule. And it doesn't always work even with all the effort, but it's not quite as simple as just just go to bed, you know? That sucks, man. It's not, like, I mean, I'm, I feel tired, but things could be way worse, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's still a, uh, it's still whatever. I thought you were on Chaos Schedule. Not, well, that was before I had to move everything out of the basement, remember? So I, I went on Chaos Schedule, and I was like, okay, cool. But now I can't be on Chaos Schedule because I can't do a lot of work while Lily is in bed sleeping, right? And also, I can't do some work when the kids are uh, sleeping too, because uh, the girls' room is right next to where we stream, right here, and the walls are really thin. So yeah, I can't. It's funny that you compare it to an exercise schedule because you delaying a stream means I'm delaying my one hour walk today. Do you, do you walk? while you watch the stream is that what you mean or or do you are you usually doing it after stream because the stream was delayed it's going to be it's going to be late we have we have 24 fan arts to go through you have time for an hour walk but then you'll miss fan art i walk while not watching the stream i would have done it before but i wasn't sure when it was starting and i, I woke up late it happens it happens wish we had room for a treadmill i enjoy a treadmill I prefer walking and running to cycling. <sighs> anyway, so uh, we have a lot of fan art today. This is gonna, like I said, it's gonna take us probably more than an hour, especially because we've already been live for five minutes. Um, I want to apologize ahead of time to the fan artists. I am very tired. Uh, already ordered a coffee from the Lily Cafe. Um, but Lily's even blonder now, so I don't know if she's gonna know how to work the French press machine anymore. <laughs> She would find it funny, okay? She would find it funny. I'll say it to her when she comes up. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, so hopefully that perks you up a little bit. I've had a coffee, I had some food. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Sexist streamer. Being blonde isn't isn't a sex. What are you talking about? Blonde men are dumb too. There's a, re there's a reason Carlos is blonde, yeah. Speaking of blonde men, I got a Carlos plushie. Are there there are Carlos plushies, Mario? Damn. Was it for your birthday? Happy birthday, Mario. I ordered him special. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Unique Carlos plushie. How does uh how does Mr. Mary the Mayo feel about this? Did you ask Lily to change color or did she choose choose to do it herself? She's been blonde for years now. I didn't really like blondes for most of my life. And I can't really remember if Lily wanted to go blonde first and then I started liking blondes. And, or if I started liking blondes a little bit before that and then I was like, Hey, would you dye your hair blonde to see how you like it? And then she and then she was like, sure, I can try that. And then after that, she, she really liked being blonde, so she stayed blonde. But um, Lily's natural hair color is very dark, so it's, it's difficult for her to be blonde. Uh, it's, 
There have been every single time she goes and gets her hair done, it's <laughs> it's like, how's it gonna come back? You know what I mean? And this is uh, one of the one of the best places in all of uh, Atlantic Canada that she goes to. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's tough. Um, sometimes she's she's platinum blonde, and that is really consistent to get, but. She prefers a slightly warmer blonde than that. And there's been one or two times where they've nailed it and it and it looks so good and she's really, really happy with it. And so she keeps chasing that high instead of, um, you know, settling for a very acceptable and, and very attractive platinum blonde. Um, but she still is chasing the, the, the ideal instead, yeah. Best place in Moncton, what do you do, Joe? Best place in Atlantic Canada, not just Moncton. Not just, just, just Moncton. Moncton has some good things going for it. Moncton has uh, a lot of great tattoo parlors, apparently. I always feel a bit awkward if anyone ever goes back and reads my books. Uh, not that anyone would do that. Uh, there's a character in my sci-fi series who is a natural blonde. And I go out of my way to point out how distinctive that is and how she gets a lot of attention for that. And that was before I liked blondes. But the reason why it's that is because I did my cringe sci-fi writer sh uh, thing where I was like, well, in so far years in the future and like thousands of years in the future, you know, it's probably going to, I don't even know if it is thousands of years in the future. I can't remember the timeline of my own. No, it's, it's hundreds of years in the future. Being natural blonde would be so rare because as time progresses, it would be even rarer and rarer. <laughs> as we move into space um and uh and that's the point but now after now that i'm like ooh, i like a blonde uh if you knew that about me and read it you'd be like <laughs> you'd be like fuck this dude wrote a character that he would find attractive <laughs> and just kept fucking pointing out about that she's blonde all the time her name's jess barely disguised fetish cat yeah it's not that that's somewhere else in the stories now I don't think there's any any uh, there's anything like that in my books. In space, the radiation would bleach our hair and tan our skin, and we'd all be guy guy guyaru bimbo himbos. And also, one percent of the population would activate latent genes, which would make them become monster animal uh, bimbo himbos. And they need a senpai on Mars in order to. <laughs> I remember when I when I did the fake storyline for that, um, and someone in ch someone in chat said, unironically, a better premise than most anime I've watched. <laughs> Und unironically, more thought has gone into this already. <laughs> anyway, let us uh, let us move on to fan art. Um, let me loop this. So I'll go between loop all, loop one, and no loop. I want to loop, loop one. Okay. Loop one. There's a one. All right. Okay. Hey, Lily, did you operate the door handle okay? Wait, what? <laughs> Were you listening? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Thank you for the coffee. If you were to turn your youngest child's most incoherent rambling into a story, then what? Then what would be called? Then that would be called anime. Oh, oh! I thought you were asking me to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. So it would be about someone's staunch denial that they have uh, they have pooped their diaper and need it changed. Okay. You know what? Maybe maybe there is an anime about that. I was I was chasing my two year old around the living room earlier, in, in a half sleepy days. Mila, Mila, is there poo in your nappy? No, no. And she, I'm like, okay, hold on, let me check. No, no. And she's running around, and I'm, and I'm like, like calling out to her as I'm chasing her. If, if you haven't done anything, you got nothing to hide. And, th and then it went on for a while until I finally caught her. And then I checked, and sh there was no poo. So w what the fuck? I thought she just wanted to continue dancing to to Dung Defender theme on uh, on the TV. <sighs> anyway. This is by Adros88948, courtesy of Adros. I hope I'm saying Adros right. Adros? I think it's Adros. So I just watched the VOD of the last fan art showcase and decided to do my own Joe fan art, an iteration on the handheld console graveyard fan art by Daxteer with a weeb twist. Weeb twist? Is Joms a weeb twist? 
Or is this a reference to something weeby that I I don't know? Are, have these been cut in half? Is that what's going on here? Because there has, hasn't been that many uh, Steam decks that have been lost to the ether. Oh, it's a Chainsaw Man reference. Oh, okay, I understand the uh, the, wee, the wee twist then. Uh, apparently there are spoilers for Lies of P in the second fan art today. So, and by spoilers, it's going to be like, do you want to know what, what a boss looks like through, I believe, the the eyes of uh, Merrick Ventuzzi. And I, is that the only spoiler we have today? We have some spoilers for past stream events, but not uh, the games themselves. Very atmospheric. Joms. 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 Why can't I scroll down? Okay, I have to click and drag. It's not letting me uh, mouse wheel for some reason. Oh, I can do this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, if you don't understand, uh, our household has gone through many a Switch Lite in our time. Nintendo is making a lot of money off of me. Uh, almost as much money as uh, has been lost to the, the copyright claim they did on the Breath of the Wild videos. Still salty, by the way. Still salty. <sighs> I gaze into the distance, mind dark and empty as the void overhead. I had no memory of how I got there, no memory of when or where I even was. Amnesia, the dark descent, even if I wasn't so unnerved by my surroundings, I might have laughed at how cliche my situation was. Though my circumstances were a complete mystery, I could still remember who I was. How convenient. My name is Joseph Anderson. I'm a weeb streamer. Scanning my surroundings, I found a scrap of paper at my feet. It depicted a field of snapped electronics planted in the ground. Mementos of better times cut short. A red presence loomed overhead, silent. I felt as though I was I felt as though it was staring at me through the page, somehow aware that I was viewing it. Was it watching me? Judging me? Did it bring me here? It was then that I realized something, or rather, that I realized I hadn't realized anything at all. These words echoing in my skull, using my voice, they weren't my own. That overblown flare, that undying commitment to the bit, there was no way it was a coincidence. The narrator was Shelley. Reeling, Anderson's mind settled on the only conclusion it could. He was in a Jan art showcase, and it had only just begun. Oh, oh, where, where's this going, Jelly? Where's this going? Really, Anderson has found himself in Night Springs. Don't get switch lights then, I don't understand. Um, well, normal switches are more expensive, and it's not always the analog sticks that break on them. Sometimes it's the charging ports. I don't know, I still think the Switch Lights are the better better pick than regular Switch. Anyway, thank you, Idress. I like the, uh, the white ground. It's very stark, I like the contrast. Alright, so this is the one that has spoilers in it. Let me, uh, put the music down. And I hope that I have the sound right. Hold on, let me press play real quick. Oh. Alright. Oh, mommy has... <laughs> All right, how is the sound? Are we good? Great. All right, full screen. Let me make sure it's it's looking okay on the stream before I hit play. Yep, looks good. All right. One, two, three. Oh, mommy has been bad. It's a grab. I hate grabs. Skill issue, daddy. <laughs> see, she's blonde. Let's see that again. Oh, mommy has been bad. It's a grab. I hate grabs. Skill issue, daddy. <laughs> yeah, I, I do hate grabs. I do hate grabs. Did you get me to ask her to say skill issue? Or did I accidentally make this happen? The daddy is from the vehicle Miku oh, oh, I know. Oh, I recognize that one. Yeah, you, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to tell me where that's from. Yep. I think skill issue was your idea, was it? Okay. <laughs> Uh, courtesy of Merrick Fantuzzi, one more animated Joe Doodle before the big break, starring Jelly as as Gemini. Oh, Jelly's here too. Thunder crack. Is this supposed to be the night the Night Springs voice? Because I can do that for all of them. Maybe I don't know. Can I? Thunder crackled as the black sky shifted to an ominous gray. Rain, an unexpected sensation, scalded the dragon's scales from sheer surprise. The image before him turned to life, a mocking tableau of reality. He recognized the voices, recognized the words, but they sounded wrong, twisted, spliced together for some unknown purpose. A random note, uh, sorry, a ransom note of sound and circumstance. Night Springs. Let's play it again. Oh, mommy has been bad. <laughs> it's a grab. I hate grabs. Skill issue, daddy. 
When the fuck did I say mommy has been bad? The next one, I don't know when I said this either. Anyway, we this, this, this there's another one. Here we go. Hit over. Final fan. What? Who was the mommy? Oh, oh, uh, I remember now. Okay, yeah, it actually was a mommy. Okay, that's why. I was like, what, why would I say mommy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! You just broke a a, a knife that was about to be. Uh, you just uh, bought a knife that was about to be so uh, broken. Like, I've I've watched this so many times, and it gets me every time. It's just like, what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> you idiot! You just broke a a, a knife that was about to be. Uh, you just uh, bought a knife that was about to be so uh, broken. <laughs> I think I'm in though, right? I'm in, right? I'm in. <laughs> you idiot! You just broke a a, a knife that was about to be. Uh, you just uh, bought a knife that was about to be so uh, broken. <laughs> Also courtesy of Merrick Ventuzzi. Hold on, let's let's get uh <laughs> you idiot, you just broke There you go. Uh Animated Joe Doodle, audio from Resident Evil 4 remake. I tried to find it in, in the VODs and I couldn't find it. I don't know when I when this happened. Lightning flashed a, a lightning flashed, a triumphant cry rang out before shrinking to a bashful whisper. He recognized this too from his Resident Evil 4 remake streams. It was a painful, embarrassing memory. What was the showcase mocking him? Anderson didn't understand. Why would someone commandeer his voice like this? How many utterance did his did the entity behind this have lost? Walked away for future use. For all he knew, they were listening right now. His stomach tightened at the thought, like someone had tied a knot with his intestines. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Yeah, that tr it's supposed to be the Alan manuscript voice. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I can't do an Alan manuscript voice. What is it? Is it breathless? Let me see if I can do it with the next one. I'll try. I'll try. Bro, why are these actually well written? Because Jelly's a better writer than most video game writers. Go, Jelly. Go, Jelly, go. All right, let's go uh, turn up a little bit. Thank you, Mara. Thank you. Courtesy of Seal. Pyro Seal. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> better snail than never. I had this idea on the Resident Evil 4 stream, and my friend drew this. Leon, there he is, the big bad evil guy. Say the line, Mr. Kennedy. <gasps> where, where, <laughs> where did my clothes go? Bingo, nice, nice, nice combination there. <laughs> what is this face? <laughs> did you did you draw this first and then we're like, holy shit, that's go even the eyes are the, the staff is pogging. What the fuck? And then you're like, I need to make this bigger next to it. <laughs> Tramp stamp. Oh man. Fuck this shit. I'm <laughs> Oh well done. Well done, Seal. Okay. So Alan. Alan Breathless. Breathless Alan. Breathtaking Alan. While well, well, he's writing. There, in the center of the final panel, Anderson found himself paralyzed with recognition. It was the red presence from earlier. Why was it there? What did it mean? Was it following him? Wracked with paranoia, he began to spiral. He could feel his limbs growing weak, numb from the sheer weight of his panic. It was if this, it was if his TV static flooded his veins from the outside in. He needed to ground himself in reality, or whatever facsimile. Fac sorry, I almost said facsimile. Facsimile of it. He, of it. He currently occupied. He strained his gaze toward Leon's ample posterior. He was an ass man, and the sight had always brought him comfort, even in the darkest of times. The numbness subsided. This would not be how his story ended. To me about press. I, I'm just pretending to fucking type because I don't want to accidentally type Windows and have it open or something. Joms has a butt too. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, thank you, Seal. Courtesy of Daxter. Daxter. Use silver sword for monster kid. Ah, since this one won't be shown until the context is long forgotten, if even. This is related to Joe talking about one of his kids being a little monster and a chatter asking if he would use the silver sword on them. With this specific phrasing coming up eventually, thus the idea spawned. Ah. 
<laughs> Is it a V? It's V lot. What did this poor kid do to this Geralt? This. Sorry, what is it? <laughs> oh, fuck that up. What did this shitty kid do to this poor Geralt? <laughs> Carpenter B reference. Totally that. I killed a wasp the other day, too. When our pizza got here, a wasp flew in with it, and it was the whole house in crisis, because Lily's scared of them, too. So Lily and all and all the kids are, are running around, and I had to get a book and squish the, the wasp against the wall, because I'm not fucking around with a wasp. Wasps deserve it? Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. Why do you hate bees? I don't hate bees. I don't hate bees. I hate wasps. I don't kill bees. The only bee I killed, I think I've ever killed, was the carpenter bee that, that attacked me. It was self-defense. I like bees. You're so manly, Joe. It, it, what's manly about getting a huge textbook and slap, slap me against the wall where the wasp was? Steel for humans, silver for monsters. The words rang out in Anderson's head as he pondered the page. In it, he was a witcher drawing his blade upon a defenseless child. He couldn't make heads or tails of the meaning, but he was certain the subreddit would have a field day with the symbolism. If nothing else, it seemed like whoever had constructed this manuscript knew who he was and what he was yet to do. He tried not to think too hard about what that could mean. What kind of textbook? It was um one, one of the kids' uh, workbooks. It was pretty thick. Here we go. Thank you, Dexter. Oh, it's a big one. All right. Courtesy of Hope Hajime. Hope Hajime. Insomnia Noodles. Should, should we should we read this one first? Like, Anderson puzzled at the scroll which unfurled at his feet. It was unreasonably long. Yeah, like a rambling conversation giving physical form. A mad prophecy of paper. The page depicted all manner of potential futures from runaway successes to the complete collapse of his identity. Only one constant was shared between the, the Delphic drawings. His Witcher 3 video. Ah, oh, perhaps, he thought, that was his reason for being here. Perhaps the, the red presence held some grudge toward him for his creative inhibition. He quickly shrugged the thought off, however. If the red presence wanted the video to be completed. Stranding him in the middle of nowhere certainly wouldn't hasten his creative process. It just didn't make any sense. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Video is out by the end of the year. Yay! Video is out. Is not out by the end of the year. Channel is deleted. Yay! Joe tried to swim in lava. <laughs> nice uh, terminal reference. Three, video is not out by the end of the year. The channel stays. How are you liking Silk Song, Silk Song 2? No, not Silk Song 2. It's Hollow Knight 2, Silk Song. Silk Song, comma, chat. Witcher 3? Witcher 3? Mods? Ooh. Ooh. This is not going to happen. I'm never that happy. Four, video is out by the end of the year, but the, ch the channel is killed by copyright. Oh, that would just be the best for everybody. Oh, oh my god. This is just like... Skibidi toilet? I don't know what Skibidi to what's Skibidi toilet? Oh my god, it auto-completed! Animated series. Skibidi toilet is a series of YouTube shorts created by Georgian animator Alexey Gerasimov and uploaded on his YouTube channel Da Fuck Boom, also known as Blue Gray. The videos feature bizarre visuals and a nonsensical storyline about a war between evil toilets with heads and hardware with human bodies. Annoying orange people also search for? I, I don't know, I don't know what this is, sorry. Rip though? Rip? Or sorry that happened, happy for you? Five, video is out but channels lead anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video is out but Joe gives you his 24 hours to watch it before deleting the channel. No, no, I would, I would give, I would upload it five hours before deleting the channel so even if you watch it at times two speed you don't have time to finish it before the channel goes down still still asleep <laughs> hasn't checked in 20 hours aww aww do 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 youtube downloader ahoy and break the law just like that you just break the law video is out but no one watches it yeah yeah i think a lot of people don't care anymore that's true a video is out and Joe is given Nobel Prize in video essays. <laughs> the Bikoi shirt. Wait, they give those? Thank you, Kojima. It just works. And Obama's here. Thank you, Obama. Thank you. 
Joe is given a Nobel Prize in Literature and one million. They love the wizard and the dragon. Uh, best, bestest boy. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. I think I have a higher chance of winning a Nobel Prize for a new video essay um, format that they make just for me than winning it for Wizard and the Dragon. 10. Video is not out. Joe rebrands. <laughs> Welcome to Clifford the Red Dog's YouTube channel. <laughs> 11. Video is not out, but Joe flees to Uruguay. This is why you take Spanish in school. Oh, no. No. I wonder if I have the head to learn Spanish. Maybe I could do it. 12. Joe is executed by the Reddit Council. Well, that's gonna happen no matter what. Can I at least keep my Reddit gold? Thank you, kind stranger. Oh. Oh. Expected value. Spent pro- Is, is this like the, the dreaming of all the possible outcomes to what to, what to bet on or what to invest in? Is that what that is? <laughs> Reddit gold doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay, Redditor. Imagine knowing that. This was me last night, for real. Oh, man. Do, Mon do Monocoins deserve such a uh, professional symbol? It's like real money. Gambling. We, we, we love gambling here. We love it. Thank you, Hopadrame. Thank you. This isn't Monocoins. This is an actual betting website where you can bet on current events. Oh. Which one's winning? Can I, can I bet myself? I see a way out of this. And it's crypto, so bet manipulation isn't even legal. Uh, sorry, isn't even illegal. And it was crypto. Anyway, thank you, Hope Padre. Boom. Video. Okay, one second. Courtesy of Jester, Steel Jest Jester. I unburrow out of my lurking cave to celebrate a year of excellent streams and community memes. <laughs> lurking cave. Unburrow. And what better way to celebrate with the totally not ruined hobby of card collecting. So here is the spoiler season of the card set. Legend of the Settled Dragon. Yugi Joe Jazz Jazb collectible cards. Legend of the Settled Dragon. At least one rare Joe in every pack featuring characters from your from your weeb streamer. These would unironically sell a little bit. <laughs> I would like some. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Jams of Greed. Bright Eyes Red Dragon. How do I set it to loop? Do I right click and hit and hit loop? Loop, here we go. Alright, let's let's let it loop while I while I read the rest. I rolled trash chain on my first pull. One is just a Luke. No copyright infringement intended. Please please no sue. Please. <clears throat> Seriously, more than a year ago, I joined the community. It was, and, it, and during that period, I was thinking about making some drawings to commemorate some of my favorite s streams of 20, 2022, but I didn't have the time to finish them. Thanks to Laddie, uh, thanks to Laddie for motivating me by presenting me with the JASB cards, as most of the drawings I already made fit perfectly in the new banner. I took a break to to make a few designs, a few terrible jokes, and well, here we are. It varied a bit from the current format, so please don't expect the cards to look like this if they are ever imported to page. I just have so much fun with them. I really appreciate being a weeb with all of you, including you, Joe. <sighs> Now, with your permission, I'm going to burrow and continue my, my fight with the gig economy. Cheers. All right, let's pause and, and, and read these. Joe is wrong about the infinite coin, by the way. Whoa, whoa, dude, he's fucking hiding that down there in the right. Designs may vary from the final product. All right, here we go. Joseph Ethanson slaps the comedian. Cre creature type Joe. <laughs> creature type Joe. Wait, Resident Evil Village, April 2022. There are dates in the bottom. Can I make this full screen? There you go. That's that's easier. Re eight, neon white, ne neon Joe white. <laughs> Bitcoin Bicoy card. What's the other card? Is there a Leon? Leon white. Mitch arch enemy. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if Mitch got the joke when he was here at the end of Alan Wake one, and I said, M "Mitch, Mitch Bros, your hero is here." <laughs> I hope he did. <laughs> Neon White, August 2022. Uh, Joe Washerson, Netflix Resident Evil uh, Biggest Offender. I don't even like it that much. I just thought it was okay. Oh, fuck. 
Why is it that I just think something is okay gets me in the most hot water of all of my opinions? It's not when I really love something, really hate something. No, it's when I think something's okay is when people get fucking mad. <sighs> Power Wash Simulator, July 2022. I like the the uh, the pickle uh, keychain here. Because nobody likes a centrist. Is it is saying something's okay? It's not a centrist take, is it not? It's just <laughs> the hand. It's, you know, leaning positive. Joe jo MP. Joe MP. Mommy archaeologist. Creature type Joe. 999 May 2022. Ice 9. Zach. Ice 9. In the flask. 999. I, I like these at the top a lot. Damn. Hatsune Mi Joe. Nice. Very good. Idol Idol. <laughs> Alt Art. Uh, minus, oh yeah, it's minus two, minus two watch. No, now people are going to say minus two. These minus twos don't count. <sighs> Sigma Joe. <laughs> what was her name again? Clover. Clover, right? It was Clover. Morbin for dummies. Nice. Ayaya. Altered Leon. Wait, what's that from? Was that a real tattoo? Or was that the real thing that was on his jumpsuit? His jumpy suit? I can't remember now. Alice number one fan. Oh, fucking Alice. Fucking Alice. It's plus two. Plus two on the watch. We're going to get an equal amount of plus twos now with, with the minus twos, right? Right? Surely. Bright eyes, red dragon. Oh, it's, it's a full art one. Look at that. Look at that. Virtually invincible. Few chatters. Or is it like a no border one? I don't know the, the, the distinction. Sorry. Virtually invincible. Few chatters have faced this creature and lived to, to tell the tale. <laughs> uh, by Steel Jester. By Steel Jester. Meme origin. Dengen Rampa. Jams of greed. Draw two drums from your emote pile. Whoa. Is drums like the land card? Or is it you get to pick the drums? Because that could be really powerful. Really powerful. Man, look at the details. Holy crap. Joe the Immovable. He's not stubborn. He's right. Oh, these, these two are these two are the, the same. Is this the alt, uh, the alt art for this one? <laughs> not a weeb. Not a weeb. Do, 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 do. Only, only milk. Wait, what? What is that? Only milk. Oh, is a crime. Okay. It says crime. I thought it said something else. Six out of ten. Sprinklers. Expanse good. Expanse is good. Is not a game. There we go. There we go. Those are uh, a bit hard for me to read. Sorry. Vine's even more movable. Need Hercules to uh, pick him up. Get the roots out of the ground. I think it was three, wasn't it? Three sets? Well, those are gorgeous. Thank you, Steel Jester. Thank you. Joe Nami up the top. Uh, let me see if I can get music on while this is still playing. Uh, let's do this one. I won't link it, but the bet sits at 61%. Video is out. Eoy? Eoy? End of year. Oh, end of year. Okay. Cheap plastic crinkled under Anderson's foot. A strange sound to hear in the middle of the woods. Reaching towards the noise, he found a pack of collectible trading cards labeled Yuji Joe, Legend of the Settled Dragon. The definition of manuscript page was certainly being stretched. Stretched by Alan. Sorry, couldn't resist. But there was no denying that this was one of them. Opening the pack, he quickly flipped through to the final card, the only one which would actually give any value. <laughs> A holographic jams of greed greeted his uh, av oh, fuck it. avaricious eyes. The red presence gazed through him. Ooh. Ooh. Where's this going, Jelly? Where's this going? Did you do it for all of them? Yes? Wow. The commitment. Damn. Anyway. Next one. Courtesy of C806256. Project Voltage. Type 518 songs? Featuring... I can't read that up top. Joe. Joms and Joe. Here's that Pokemon X Hatsune Miku X Joseph Anderson crossover. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about. Everyone's been talking about. Everyone's been talking. What is... What is <laughs> What's this great vegetable juice? What is this? Do do. Oh, there's a pickle. Do 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 do
This is very charming. Very charming. The eyes. Nice. There was an official collab where where there was a special Miku design for every Pokemon type. Really? Oh, okay. I didn't know about that. I didn't know, I didn't realize Hatsune Miku, Miku was so popular. I thought the most popular thing to come out of the come out of that was Bikoi. Huh. Bikoi in the coffee. On her left leg. Le Secretly a fan? I, I, really not. Really? Hatsune Miku, really? Her? Huh. Hatsune Miku is literally the most popular thing ever made. I think that's Mario. Hey Joe, you are a great guy and I love your breakdowns. Thanks for making me, making my preventative maintenance uh, less boring during this, huh? During this? Well, thank you for that. I like the contrast. I like it. Thank you. Shining his flashlight on the promotional poster, Anderson's gut lurched once more. The red presence was not even attempting to hide itself anymore. Ah, okay. All right, well done. It stood proudly next to something. Some peppy waifu wearing a shirt with a crude drawing on it that resembled a penis. <laughs> what? What kind of what kind of penises are you looking at? It's it's Bikoi, it's not a penis at all. Scoffing, he turned his light towards the lettering on the poster. His breath hitched in his throat. Saliva suddenly sharp like sandpaper. That was his name. Was this what the Red Presence had planned? Was he fated to become this thing? It didn't have that kind of power, did it? He had to get away. He had to run. Those are feet! Those are feet! <laughs> Alright, thank you C806256. Very charming, very charming. Courtesy of Adros. Another friend, Adros. Thank you, Adros. Hopefully I'm saying your name right again. Or wrong in the same way again, so at least I'm consistent. What is that there? Oh, okay. New, new Alan Wake fan art, fresh from the oven, updated to include hidden decoy. Hidden decoy. Hidden decoy. How does that moment from the uh, from the stream get this? It's consistently said. Okay, all right, good. I'm somewhere close then. Old Joe would have stayed there for four hours trying to get up there for barely any escape. Would've made a good clip. Would've made a good clip. <gasps> is that it? Oh, this is, this is, these are it, right? Bikoi socks? For some reason, I was looking over here for the Bikoi. I thought the Bikoi would be in the, in the, uh, in the trunk. That's it, right? New merch? Are you talking about Bikoi socks? Or are you talking about, uh, where is Bikoi? The new Wimble Builder, uh, book. Available in all good bookstores everywhere. We see you do one thing and start doodling expecting it to be the rest of the stream. <laughs> That's fair. Would you make Bikoi pajamas? <sighs> oh, anyone in a, an adventurous capitalist? Not a venture capitalist. An adventurous capitalist that wants to fund a, a bunch of bullshit? Anderson frantically maneuvered up the stack of objects, balanced on sure yet determined. He had always been one to take the road less traveled, <laughs> and being stranded at the behest of some mysterious, assumedly malicious red presence wouldn't change that. Clambering to the top of the stack of logs, he felt a wave of relief wash over him. He still had it. He was still in control. No, it was Alan Wake. Something in the distance caught, caught his eye. Let's switch over to the sad one. It always sounds sad at the beginning. And then later it goes bump, 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 bump. It builds. The chat wants you to monetize the streams aggressively, and then we would not buy anything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, these music, three music tracks we played today are all by Kusuro on Jazz, by the way. I'm still waiting to buy that damn statue. How, how would I make a statue? Hold your tongue, Merrick. I would absolutely buy Bikoi pajamas. It would be worth it just to eventually, after a couple of years, hear about you know the the couple that that met. And they were about to get it on for the first time, and they both walked into the room wearing matching Bikoi pajamas. Oh my god, you're a fan too? Yes, it's Bikoi, not a penis. Yeah, it is. Because after Charlie Chan. <laughs> oh, Jelly, Jelly cooked for this one. Courtesy of Equiz, or a quiz. Equiz 923. I've been catching up with the Starfield VODs and an old buff space trucker that wears no clothes is such a funny goddamn character, kinda kinda living for it. And then Todd happens. 
What an arc the space trucker had, huh? What an arc. Where did his clothes go? Uh, he didn't need any because of a glitch. I don't know what it was, but there was something weird about that character. Whereas in the character creator, he looked like a pretty old man. And then, by the time we got to Venus, he kind of started looking hot. <laughs> And I don't know when that happened. I was like, you know what? This, this guy's got it, man. Like, <laughs> Shijo, she I'm trying not to spoil what happened in the streams. Shh, shh. Some people are still catching up. Well, but now, now people are mad at me for spoilers. They call me a space trucker, badass, diesel, something. I don't know what that is after, but next to gear. M motherfucker <laughs> Is it an official job title? Is it diesel churning? Diesel churning gear Strimming? Strumming? What's that? Diesel burning. Oh, okay. Diesel burning gear churning motherfucker. Oh, okay. All right. That makes that makes sense. I really like the font. Damn. <laughs> What do you want on your merch most? Joms, Bikoi, Trolley Chan, Fido Chan, Joe, Normal Dragon Form. Yes, I'm last. Yes. Joms, 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 Joms. I'm not surprised, Joms. Can we do it again without Joms? Because Joms is always going to win. I, I would be interested to see what would win between Trolley Chan and Bikoi, actually. We have some symbols around here, you know that? We have some symbols. The legs, goddamn. Anyway, over the range, over over the range, Anderson spotted a man who boggled the mind, clad in nothing but a trucker cap and his skin-tight unmentionables. The figure gave him a sharp salute, seemingly undeterred by the elements. Mouth agape, Anderson could only watch as the trucker made his way towards him, effortlessly navigating the rocky terrain. I've got a package for you, Mr. Anderson, the trucker said. Anderson stiffened, desperately trying to look, not to look down. These Chanyu scripts. <laughs> Hold the key. Study them closely. Only you know what must be done. The trucker handed him an assortment of papers, a collection of very of the very same manuscript pages he had been finding over his travels. They felt lighter somehow, more pure. His face scrunched in confused realization. Hold on, did you call these Chanyu scripts? What kind of anime bullshit are you? But when he whipped his head towards the trucker in accusation, he was greeted with nothing but dust. And an infinite emptiness filled only with more questions. He slowly began to thumb through the Chanyu script pages. Don't know why the Fido, Fido waifu is so maligned. She's not, it's just that everyone loves Trolley Chan right now. Trolley Chan has been surprisingly enduring. I think Fido is comfortably second favorite. Fido is my favorite personally. Speaking of enduring, next page. All right, a little scared, a little scared. Here we go. Barrel Chan, courtesy of Plastic, C413B. Drew my first Chan based on the first Alan Wake stream. Remember, no object is too insignificant for Chanification. Barrel Chan. The very short-lived. I know I'll never replace her, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> You're leaving already. <laughs> You're leaving already. I I'm sorry, but the deadline. What's that? The best TV shows of all time? Hey, we'll see about that. Let's start from the top. Oh no! I'm sorry, Barrel Chan. I'm sorry. Some of you feel bad for the Barrel. Feel bad for Barrel Chan. You know who you should feel bad for? The face I see in chat right now. Bike Chan. Bike Chan not even ranking lately. Charlie Chan and Fido. Poor Bike Chan. Bike Chan will return in, uh, in Death Stranding 2 though. Would it be Bike Chan 2 or Bike 2 Chan? 2 Bike 2 Chan? Barrel Chan plodded along the dirt trail, wallowing in a mixture of misery and resignation. She knew all too well that it wasn't meant to be, but it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> a barrel is meant to be filled with something after all. It was just her rotten luck that she happened to be filled with hope. Jelly, well done! That's good! 
I like that a lot. Well done. Aimlessly walking, she thought of Anderson, thought of their short time together. Together. She hoped he was all right. <laughs> together. Are these all the chans now? Is that why it was chan scripts? It was uh, a, a transition into the chans. Here we go. Thank you, Plastic. She's pretty cute, huh? Oh! So, if you know of Charlie Chan, this is the other contender. This is Fido. This is Fido Chan, all right? This is my favorite Chan. Courtesy of Parkiran Honda. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So I tried to draw Fido Chan this time. There she's in chat now too? I love the side quest ribbons. <laughs> Fido with lore accurate ribbons. <laughs> Joe likes the blonde Chan, of course. It's not because she's blonde. That helps. It helps. <laughs> not the jaw drop a wooga bit again. <sighs> anyway, let's lose. Let's zoom in a bit. Damn. Now that we zoomed in on this and lingered for a bit, it's it's fine to move down a little bit. Want to look at the ribbons? Fidoing the art. <laughs> Very nice, Parkir and Honda. Very nice. Jelly's contribution. For as long as she could remember, Fido Chan has always been the center of attention. It wasn't like she tried to steal a spotlight from Main Story Chan. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? What have we built here? What have we built? But there was just something about her that pulled others in. Her very presence was refreshing, like a cool glass of water after groggily awakening at 3 a.m. It happened last night. She didn't mind the love, of course, but she always worried that there were more important things people should be doing. She would. She, she's she's uh, gracious like that. A ribbon fairy f flitted gently in her hand, pulling her out of her daydreams. Oh well, moping like this wasn't going to help anyone. With a spring in her step, she followed wherever the wind took her next. Yep, yep. It's, it's that attitude is why we love her. The blonde is just extra. Is it too late to ask who Fido-chan is? 15 month subscriber. Really? Are you doing a bit or do you not know? Fido-chan stands for faffing about in the open world, or sometimes faffing around in the open world. Originally from Yakuza 0, I believe, is when Fido first appeared. Anyway, gorgeous. Thank you, Parkiran Honda. Thank you. Is there another Chan next? Or are we all Chaned out? Courtesy of Paddle. <laughs> when, when trying to complete every quest in the game, except a few bumps along the way, forced into accepting every quest Chan, Fia, Fia EQ? Fia EQ? Chan for short, by Jelly. I think we're just gonna go with Fia, or I'm just gonna read Fia instead. Fia, Fia Q? Fia Q. I don't know, Fia Q is, com is coming easily now. Fia Q. The holy trinity of quest chance has been completed. I say Fike, or call her Fia. Fike Chan? Fike Chan kinda sounds like Bike Chan. Wait. Wait. What? This Chan was definitely present in the, in the Starfield streams. I'm not sure if, if, Fido made an appearance in the Starfield streams. What's the getting sidetracked by insane glitches Chan? Getting, getting sidetracked by insane, oh is that just Breaker? Hmm. Maybe that was Breaker's influence, yeah. I made her during Starfield, oh yeah! Too many Chans. Do we have a Chanopedia yet? You say influence like these chans are real and affecting you. I'm scared for you, Joe. <laughs> I like I like the uh, the the joke of just tripping over shit to do. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's that's definitely what happens to me, especially. Oh man. Speaking of, this is a good way to bitch about Starfield again. How are we so many games in and you can still only track one quest at a time? Do you know how clunky it is to have to go back and be like, oh, what quest do I have here? I'm gonna do that one, but go into the other one. And like, and some of them are under activities instead of main quests. And, and some of them present in different ways. So you're like, I don't know, is this a main quest or a side quest or a side duty or a side bounty or a contract or an activity or a fun thing to do? Or is this untra? It's so, it's so aggravating. <laughs> oh, 
hold on. List of pages tagged with Chans. Affinity Chan. AI NI flowchart Chan. Airboat Chan. Airboat Chan. American Heart Association Chan. And French Fry. Ass Slapper Gold Hand Chan. What? Who the fuck is that? Bandage Chan. Bat Chan. Bidet Chan. Bike Chan. Black Hole Chan. Black Lily Chan. Bomb Chan, Breaker Chan, Carpenter B Chan, Chat Chan, Cream Chan, Dev Chan, Dev Chan in chat, Dragon Angel Chan, Dryer Chan, Duck Chan, Edge Chan, Evolve Idol Chan, Fido Chan, Fia Chan, Golden Rifle Chan, Gravity Gun Chan, Grenade 2 Chan, coming before Grenade Chan, Insatiable Despot Chan. <laughs> I remember that one. Jam bread chan, knife chan, learning to draw chan. That's my chan. I made that chan. It's the only chan I've made. Loot chan, main story chan, monocoin chan, morphogenic field chan, norm chan, novel advanced chan. Oh, what the fuck? Oh fuck, we're fighting Kuze again. Fucking Kuze again. What the hell? Is he the only boss in this goddamn game or something? Like, even on normal, not just on hard. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Jesus Christ, I guess we're fighting Kuze again, Chan. <laughs> Patch Chan, Piss Chan, Poop Chan, Purple Chan, Quantum Moon Chan, Red Square Chan. One of the first Chan. Was that the first Chan? Hmm. Shuffle Chan, Sleeping Pill Chan, Snackalin Chan, Somnium Chan, Steel Business Card Chan, The Gray Arrow Next to the Wheel Chan, Trolley Chan, Undo Chan, Wheel of Names Chan, White Line Chan, Wrench Chan, and Yosh Chan. <sighs> we didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. How many do we need? How many more do we need before we can get a Poke Rap thing going? Got a hundred and fifty for all to see. Oh man. Alright, new music. Let's go back to the OG. Anyway, thank you, Paddle. Fia Chan was a people pleaser, much to her own detriment. The thought of letting others down was a constant plague upon her mind, one she spent most of her days working to avoid. Not that she had much choice, mind you. Her boss was very adamant about her accepting every assignment, regardless of her of how insignificant it may be. If they tell you to collect some eggs, you ask how many. Ooh. She found herself consumed with envy. At least Main Story Chan had a finite goal. At least Fido Chan could pick and choose what caught her fancy. Hers was an endless deadline dictated by everyone but herself. She's been everyone else's Chan. Maybe one day she'll be her own. Aww. Some of you feel bad for the Chan. Also courtesy of, of Paddle. Deadline Chan. Oh god. It's Eldritch Horror Chan. Holy shit, it's Eliza P. Boss. Happy Halloween Joe. Poem from our local English major, Jelly. Translated from an ancient poem, Origin Lost the Time. For in the eyes of all blind men, ambition seeks to plant the seed, the promise of some far off... The promise of some far off when, if only you'll complete the deed. I ate, I ate, I hear the church bells sing. I ate, I ate, a wicked harvest she will ring. Ooh. Ooh. Stay away. Look, look at these expressions. And then there's just this. Oh man, this is a cool design. For in the eyes of all blind men. Oh, there it is, okay. It's there too. I wrote that this morning. Paddle made this chain today and I had to make a whole ass poem. Such is the life of an English major. The multiple tongues be hanging down, being the hands of the clock, damn. Damn. What is the CD? What's this? I feel like I should know what this is. Or maybe I shouldn't? Serial code. Windows product key. Ooh. A Caesar cipher. I was thinking that myself, yeah. Getting some uh, Slay the Princess vibes. Do you think that this part would talk to you nicely while the other part is ripping you to shreds? Yes. <laughs> other way around. Ooh. Misjudge Chan. Slay the Princess bonus stream, maybe? Maybe. Someone is campaigning for it on Jads, I think. They're making the argument that it could possibly be a good stream game. The only reason 
the biggest reason, sorry, the biggest reason I'm worried about doing it is because a story-heavy game like that, um, you know, the whole point of streaming something is that you're you're adding enough to it and people will, will be attracted enough to buy the game that it's always a net positive for both parties, right? It's like, I get to stream something and, and people will go on to buy the game after that. But when it comes to very story-heavy things like that that don't have a lot of gameplay, assuming it doesn't have a lot of gameplay, I don't know if that holds true. So I'm a little concerned about that. I, like, uh, it's not about like breaking the law or whatever. Like, I, I don't think that has been put into legislation yet. It just kind of feels a little scummy, you know? Because like, there's been a lot more talk about being a React Andy lately, and I don't like it. There are a few big people in the internet space that are just churning out so much React content, and it's like, Come on, it kind of it's kind of fucked up. Why did you play Danganronpa then? Like you joke, or maybe you're not joking, but that is, uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's enough gameplay there. I don't know. Maybe it's transformative enough. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I mean, like you can't make transformative content out of it. I can for sure, and my reaction can can matter, but. A big part of games is that you can play them yourself, and if that's taken out of it, then now it becomes more of a gray area, I think. I don't know. But it's possible. It's possible. Anyway, thank you, Paddle. Three Paddles. Are we still on chance? Courtesy of Harmva, Renzio's wife. Harmva? Trolley? Oh, it's trolley! Oh, it's a trolley salute! Oh, I like that. Trolley. It was Caps' idea. I like the salute. I use the salute emote, uh, even though it's anime on Jad sometimes. Charlie Chan knew all along that she would never be there to see the end. It was the fate of all props, trifling things meant to only to fill space and sell the illusion of reality. She knew it wouldn't work out, and yet she foolishly tried anyway. What had it gotten her in the end? She watched, hel she watched helplessly as Joe crawled through the vents, slinking around a corner and out of her vision forever, forever. She savored the memories of their journey, of the sights she was never meant to see, and the power she was never meant to wield. This was enough, she told herself. It was more than she could have ever wanted. Aww. Miss her so much chat. You know, I still have my safe file. We can go back and visit her if we want, but would that just be cruel for all parties involved? I've uninstalled everything else except for that. That's still there. Maybe one day we'll have a breakthrough glitch. Anyway, maybe we'll add this email to the mix uh, one day. There's lots of things we have to do. Elephant sacks, um, uh, JPH point. There were some seasonal ideas I wanted to do, but uh, I have some stuff I need to work through before we start doing uh, some big stream ideas. Need to level up my streaming. Originally I ended this one with Anderson choked back tears. He missed her, he missed her so much, but I changed it because I knew you'd say, I knew you Shimano'd me. Yeah, that's true. You got me. Half of Retina's comment section under the Half-Life 2 video is just people bawling their eyes out over a trolley. That's the power of, of a narrative and also music. The, the music number will do it uh, really effectively at the end. Retina's did a really good job of that. Please never get a dumb stream UI. No, we're never gonna do that. And I don't think I'm gonna do face cam. Um, there might be something we do though, which is topical, which I think is, it might be the next one, isn't it? Cause I, I scrolled quickly through the fan art, but if it was a big thing, I didn't go through it. But I saw this one, I think. No, it's not this one, it's, it's, it's coming up. Courtesy of 4G LTE, the sad but- <laughs> Oh my god, everyone, it's the sad banana on the back of the decoy shirt from the Hatsune Miku streams that everyone forgot, Chan. Yep. Yep. It's the sad banana on the back of the decoy shirt from the Hatsune Miku streams that everyone forgot ch about, Chan. So easily forgotten. Yep. Or you could call her Banana Koi of Sadness instead. His sad was forgotten by everyone. Maybe I, even I forgot. <laughs> Maybe she's sad because she got forgotten by everyone. Maybe Joe Moore knew that b -Koi would become a beloved stream mascot, while the banana on the back would be forgotten, which is why he made her sad. <laughs> so funny, b -Koi, my beloved. Haha, <laughs> he looks like a penis. When is someone gonna chantify the banana on the back? My artist in jazz, you have the stream artist role. Ooh. Max sadness mode. Does she also know Max? Because that would make you even uh, even more sad, yeah? Aww. Aww. Well, on the one hand, I feel bad for this Chan. On the other hand, the raincoat being a banana peel that's being peeled off, and you have, like, banana kind of skin shirt underneath is absolute genius. This is so fucking cool. Well done. Look at this. 
How high does it connect? Do you think it connects up to the hair or no? Completely enclosed. Mud on the raincoat. Being brown spots on the banana. Yeah. You want your banana to have, you know, just a little browning. Just a little. Just a touch. A perfectly yellow banana is... It's not ready yet. You don't want a banana to be really brown but you want it a, a little a little browning to be happening or else the banana might taste kind of weird i think that there are some times when you can have a perfectly yellow banana and you caught it at the exact right second and it can be fine i just think it's it's a safer bet to want to wait for a couple of uh a couple of brown brown spots i prefer mine slightly green really huh they have a, a, a taste to me that i don't like it when they're still a little little green but you know what you do you do you want to make a little banana cry? I already have. This this banana has been crying for a while. She's not the chain that Jad's needs or deserves, but the one they'll probably forget forgot about again. <laughs> Aww. Sad banana on the back of the Biko shirt from the Hatsune Miku streams that everyone forgot about Chan wept, for she knew not what else to do. It felt as though the world itself had turned its back on her. <laughs> Which was fitting, because she was on the back of the shirt. The saddest part was that she was right. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much fan art she got, it was only a matter of time before they all forgot again. She was on the back of the shirt. Yeah, she was on the back of the shirt after all. Yeah, nice. 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 Anyway, thank you. Thank you for GLT. What were we just talking about? Courtesy of Chrome, Chrome Dollar. I present Do Chan and Do Chan, as was requested of me. They are dating, to be clear. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, oh, dude. Dude. Okay, which one is 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 aw, oh, dude? Is that normal, dude? Or is it dude? Shout out to the the guy on Jads who got banned. For typing in dude with like fucking 500 U's? <laughs> it was too many U's. <laughs> it was too many. Pro gamer. Kind of reminds me of uh, a Fido a little bit. John Jomzafornia? No, I'm not reading that right. Duchan and Du Chan had been going steady for a couple of months now. They met last sem last semester in some meaningless Gen Ed Gen Ed class and immediately hit it off with one another. Du Chan loved her carefree attitude and the cute way she'd always trail off when talking about whatever new game she was playing. Du Chan <laughs> loved how blunt she was. <laughs> <laughs> Loved how blunt she was and couldn't remember the second thing. It was a match made in Chan Heaven. With the last of the Chan U scripts completed, Anderson sighed. He wasn't sure exactly what these pages were meant to show him, but it was uh, it was a nice reprieve, if nothing else. Suddenly, he smelled smoke. Ooh. This fan art section is about to get a, a piss break, let me tell you. Let's see if we can get through. We have uh, seven more, I think. Thank you, Crow. Thank you. Again, I'm sorry. I I'm, I don't have the like the knowledge to to appreciate um, a lot of the art that we get. So I just want to say the same thing over and over again. Like I just want to say like the detailing. Like like look at all the uh, the lines. I'm sorry. I know it's it's so basic for me to say it, but just like there's I, I like all the addedness. Every, uh, the addedness. All the lines. How much lines add to it? Fucking hell. Again, four hours sleep, everybody. Four hours sleep. Look at the hair. I used to wear pants like this when I was a teenager. Oh, here it is. All right. So this is the uh, the thank you thank you for the sub animation. We used to have one. We don't anymore. And I love this. This looks so good. Uh, but I don't know if I want to bring that back because I like having as little on the screen as possible. Like oh, usually it's just the game. That's it, right? Um, uh, sometimes I'll put some sort of emote on there. But it looks pretty good. Maybe we could do it as a treat sometimes. Do it only for two tier two tier three subs. Oh Merrick. Oh Merrick. We do a little eviling. Also courtesy of Chrome. I made a little animation alert to thanks to thanks subs on stream. And it's Daddy's Jizzies. Thank you, Daddy's Jizzies, for su for subbing. Only for 10 plus gift sub gifts. Sorry, 10 plus sub gifters. Every single one. A stack of 10 of them appearing all at once. Laddie just posted a 500 plus character. Oh no, don't you'll get banned. No. Holy shit. 
Okay, you formatted it in a in a clever way. All right, creative use of Discord mechanics. Well done. Well done. Flames engulf the forest. Fierce sparks whip from branch to branch, threatening to swallow the whole world. Even the furious rain that had persisted through the entire night did nothing to slake the fire's endless thirst. Bursting through a cloud of smoke and into a clearing, Anderson spotted a large building, desperately patting out the embers that clung to his clothing. Oh, Dark Souls, he sprinted towards the shelter. So this is the two-hour fan art sheet. Yeah, this happens quite regularly, actually. And I think it's a good compromise to having um, uh, fan art be random. I think one, once a week feature is good. I'm gonna change the music again. It allows us to decompress. Unfortunately, I don't know why this, this seems to happen. Um, fan art days are often the days that I just don't get a lot of sleep beforehand. And I feel bad because I like to be a higher energy for fan art so I can respond to it better. Anyway, thank you, Crop. A little loud for me. Courtesy, <laughs> Courtesy of Artemis255. Artemis boy, the cutout survived the cliff. This was uh, Nodge's idea. Oh, the wizard dragon! He's a wizard and a dragon. Oh, that would that would be cool. Let's do that story instead. Glasses remind me of the ones that. Uh, do I have it? Is that my on Discord? Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's my Discord profile picture now again. Yeah. It's not your real name. Nope, it's not my real name. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna leave it to Fate right now. Do you, do you all want to know my real first name? Do a poll. If most of you say yes, I will tell you my real first name today. I will tell you. If you all say yes. Merrick says no. Merrick, you know it! Wait, do you? <laughs> I'm curious, why not? Oh, it's pretty close. No is winning. I want to know if it's Zach. Well, I can tell you even before the poll's done, Kate, it's not Zach. My real name is not Zach. Leave it a mystery. Well, it's gonna come out eventually. One day it's gonna come out. It's 50-50. If you wanna sway it. If you wanna sway it. Huge moment in stream history. Yes is winning. If you want it to be no, it's winning by very little votes too. If you want it to be no, now's the time. Now's the time. Make your voice heard. So many of you have not voted. Only about 600 of you have voted, and there's 1,427 people here, including bots. What if it is just 50-50? Oh, oh no. Anyway, while that's going on, Joseph Anderson, not his real name, also totally not a weep. True, both of these are true. The wizard dragon. Pushing through the doors of the lodge, Anderson was met only with more mysteries. The lodge itself, how do you know of the lodge? The lodge itself was empty and behind the counter at the front desk was a, car a car cardboard cutout of himself. He remembered this day. He had just published his long awaited no novel, The Wizard and the Dragon. Oh, it's not The Wizard Dragon. And he had some cheesy merchandise made to celebrate the occasion. The realization made his legs buckle long, long ago before the voting game, before Chance, before even Actraiser, he had been a writer. How could he have, how could he have forgotten? He stumbled weakly through the halls of the lodge. Some people on Jazz are saying your stream isn't being published as a VOD. Um, that's weird. It should be. Why is it not? It's set there. Yes, one by two votes. Two votes. Three, three, six to three, three, four. Damn. Damn. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, good thing this isn't a democracy. Anyway, thank you for playing. Thank you, Artemis255, Artemis Boy, for uh, for this, and thank you, Jolly. I like this cutout. Courtesy of Sam, and thank you very much, Kay. Sam and Unintellectual says it every time. Alan, what's that? I actually thought that the Alan running joke was meant to be a reference to Jurassic Park 3. Oh, honey. And people just really found the scene where the guy falls asleep on the plane and the Velociraptor shouts Alan at him. Very funny. So everyone was just imagining a Velociraptor was shouting Alan whenever a character fell asleep. And that was the joke. I was disappointed. It is when someone falls asleep too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. The VOD isn't publishing for real. For real. Oh, well, I, there's a glitch on Twitch's end. Like, it's I haven't changed any settings. Maybe it'll show up later. Maybe I've been banned from Twitch and I haven't even, and I don't even know it yet. Yeah, usually it's here, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, Backseat Raid! How's it going, Backseaters? Should we do the poll again now there's fresh people here? A part of yesterday's VOD got muted and Twitch disables auto VOD publishing if that happens. That's... Okay, when was that put in place? Because we've had lots of VODs get muted in the past and 
That has never happened. Is it new? Read the pin. I just did read the pin. That's what I'm responding to. Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder if I can just upload the VOD myself afterwards. Do you need to publish it manually? I'll get it afterwards, sure. The music's a little loud, Joe? Okay, sure. I can turn it down. Alan. OMG, it's Alan too. Been waiting so long. Has this Joe added A and L and N over the on the the coat jacket to match what's underneath on the shirt? Or is this does this say something else? I love A. It might happen if too many VODs get muted in a row. Every Alan Wake VOD has been getting muted. Oh, maybe that's why then. Hmm. That's a shame. I noticed that one of the bits in American Nightmare got muted for music. And then later on, the music plays again, and that part didn't get muted, and it was the same music. This, I think it was the same music. So, that's strange. Maybe maybe that flagged something somehow. Circumventing the mute or something, I don't know. Strange. Well, that sucks. I'll see if I can get around it later. Geralt in the background. Flashlight in the backpack made me think it was a watering can for a second there for some reason. <laughs> this Joe Dragon is very happy. Finding an empty room at the end of the of a long hallway, Anderson began to work feverishly. He scribbled endlessly on the walls, words overlapping words, overlapping words, overlapping words. He cobbled together a corkboard with twine and scraps of the manuscript pages he had found along his journey. He raved aloud, acting out scenes for a captive audience that did not exist. Uh-oh, his mind was no longer his own. The door closed behind him, locking with a loud click too distant to hear. Sorry, I got uh, distracted by some people in chat there for a second. Yeah, I'll, I'll check during your dream break, yeah. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Raiders, we're doing fan art right now, and then we're going to start playing Alan Wake 2, but we're probably going to take a quick break before that, because we're almost at two hours. Uh, we do this once a week. I think Backseat does a fan art segment too as well, so uh, if you're coming from Backseat, then, then you uh, know how this goes. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> what the fuck? Also courtesy of Daxteer, I have become this. Joseph Anderson. Oh my god. Oh, my 2B figurine. I have to go and stack all of my uh, my uh, Witcher uh, figurines recently. Is that Owie? I have become this. No, that is not me. I don't have an Xbox. I don't have an old ass Xbox. I have an Xbox 360. I have become this. Anderson awoke to a prison of his own design, unaware of his own captivity. A creature of impulse, he dragged himself towards the mounting pile of equipment which cluttered the far, the far corner of his confines. A veritable dragon's horde indeed, shaking off the night's rest. What's that like? He began prepping for today's stream. Another anime visual novel. His favorite, this time about a man uh, stuck in a time loop. The man's circular struggle amused Anderson. Surely, he thought, you would notice so many things kept repeating. The brain loves to find patterns, even when they don't exist. Surely so many similar sights and sounds would r raise alarm bells, or at least invite suspicion. Waving off an audience that did not exist, he returned to his peaceful slumber. Anderson awoke to a prison of his own design, unaware of his own captivity. Ooh. To be fair, I wouldn't blame anyone for having a shrine, a shrine to 2B. You know what pisses me off about the 2B figurine that I have? It's not the right hair color. And I think that says too much about me. Are people arguing about Danganronpa waifus in chat now? I would hate that. The top of her hair is all, its it starts off black at the roots. And then it gets gray and it gets progressively lighter until finally, like the bottom third of it is the right color. Huh? Yeah, I know. I can't tell if the 2B figurine is a bit or not. I I I uh, did a picture of it once of her standing on the top of uh, of the Witcher books a while ago. Owie is a uh, 1,000 best girl, and no weeb can convince me otherwise. Hey, Owie. <laughs> this is cursed as hell, Max dear. This is cursed as hell. What the? Enlo senpai, uwu. Spider Man. Curse as hell, and yet, thank you, thank you, Dexter. Courtesy of Luna Panda, Luna dot Panda. I can't believe we had a, had Joe cameo, or I don't know what a cameo is. Is it, is it cameo in Alan in Al? Oh, fucking hell, in Alan Wank. Also, fuck perspective. I can't draw that shit. Anderson, and here we have one of our longest patients. What is he here for? A deal he can't lose. Computer Chan, Chair Chan, Keyboard Chan, Do It For Him, Vicoy Chan, I Must Sex, Ball Chan, Oh, Great Vegetables, Todd Lies, True, Pee Break, I could go for a pee break myself right now, I Want To Believe, Expelled, 
On the left we have Witcher, and on the right we have all the stream bullshit. It's like poetry. Wall Chan, everything's Chan. Remember, it's a marker, not marker Chan. Ayaya? Bed Chan? Alan? The cardboard cutout? Wait, is that my paper cutout? Ah! Uh, plus two? Plus two? Yeah, plus two. Is it plus two? Is it plus two? Yes, yes, you got a plus two. Very power champion of you. And then he was happy. <laughs> I did good, right? Plus two? Plus two? How much time had passed since then? Anderson no longer knew what the, wor the word meant. He scurried around his meager confinement, taking no heed of the objects within. A hovel of delusions, a monument to madness itself. A noise like hushed voices echoed from the room's door, and his body rushed toward it like a prehistoric predator. Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. His pleading added up to nothing. I think it adds up to ten. He trapped within and without. Outside, the sky darkened. Whoa. What comes next for this, Anderson? What does Alan's book say? Oh, it says Alan. See? You can see it, right? Alan. It says Alan. Hope Anderson gets out of this one. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Everything is Shan. Anyway, thank you, Luna Panda. Thank you. I mean, you say you, you can't do perspective, and I don't know if I am uh, have enough knowledge to argue with you, but I could immediately tell that this was the cutout, and I have a feeling that must be hard to convey, maybe? I don't know. Something flat like that in a in a 3D space. So yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think you did good. All right, last two I think. 23 and 24. <laughs> a hat trick, courtesy of Merrick Bentuzzi. Joe's des <laughs> Joe's desire to know where where are we going. Joe's deadlines. Very true. Very true. This is kind of scary actually. Joe Doodle. All right, where are we going? Anderson's vision blurred as the world around him fell to pieces, folding in on itself in a crescendo of light and noise. When his eyes finally focused, he was looking down upon himself from above, magnitudes larger than the forest that once surrounded him. At the same time, he gazed shakily up at himself, smaller than he had ever been in the face of, a, of the impossible made manifest. The red presence from the first manuscript. It had been him all along. Wait. Wait, what? Fluttering through the wind, something caught his split attention. He watched... I'm the Jones? He watched as his smaller self lurched toward it, suddenly manic with focus. Beneath his maddeningly, maddeningly large gaze, he grasped the object from the air. It was a manuscript page, a manuscript, Like a... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Cicada? Like a cicada molting in the summer sun. I used to know. Reality shed a crumpled layer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's this going? My real name is Joms? Good thing that Paul won, yes. Joms. Joms. It was me all along. <laughs> Does this kind of art have a, have a specific name? Where it's gigantic monster? It's almost like political art, isn't it? Where they, they just make an abstract kind of thing and they just put labels on it? I've seen it around. But it's not- oh god, what the hell? Merrick, I can't believe you have made political art. Not even the first time. One of my favorite jokes Merrick ever did was uh, was a political art where he included that uh, that guy with glasses with a snarky little line in the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> glowing eyes, glowing eyes, blocking out the sun but providing their own light. Thank you, Merrick. Thank you. And last on today's fan art list is. Courtesy of, uh, Krakonis? Krakonis? Waiting for Edelgard, or Edelgard. What's that? An, it's Infinite Coin Chan. No, oh, no, don't bring it. It's Infinite Coin Chan, known for destroying friendships. She actually sucks at math, by the way. If I had infinity time with you, I'd give you head. <laughs> I'd give you head one million times in a row. That's, that's Alan Wake's real American nightmare. Endless head and no tail. Time stretched outward, uh, out towards and away from him in all directions, gasping for air that no longer existed. Anderson finally understood. In any practical sense, escape was a complete impossibility, but the Janart Expanse, uh-oh, that was anything but practical. His mind raced. Maybe he could never escape, not physically at least, but he might just be able to survive. Over an infinite amount of time, any finite possibility will collapse into a guaranteed reality. He thought back to the Chenyu scripts from earlier in his journey, and of the trucker. If he was able to create even the smallest chance, he had to try. He was going to live forever or die in the attempt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ambiguous ending. Huh. You know what? I don't think he makes it out. 
I think this Anderson is doomed. Well done, Jelly. Well done. Well done. Now that you, I have given you a chance, will you admit your name is Robert? My name is not Robert. Sorry. Fuck. Sorry. It's not. What if it's just Alan? <laughs> Alan. Alan. Infinite Coin Chan. Known for destroying friendships, she actually sucks at math, by the way. Thank you, Infinite Coin Chan. Is it? I don't know if this is a lewd observation, but I do enjoy the infinity symbol being positioned there on the shirt. That's a pretty good detail. I think that's a pretty good shirt. That's such a good shirt, I think that shirt might already exist somewhere, actually. That's good. It's just good framing. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is fan art for, t for this week. Break smiley face? What's that three next to your name? Pop out chant, pop out chat, pop out, pop out chat. Um, move that over there. Okay, how am I checking the VOD? You need to turn on do not disturb mode on the overlay every time you launch the game to hide the annoying achievements. Really? What was it, Alt F3? No, that's uh, NVIDIA. Is it Control F3? Shift F3, thank you. And it's not showing up, right? All right do not disturb is, is on now. Okay, good. Wouldn't want to show my real name after most of you said that you don't want to know it. All right, so that's that. That's there. Oh, I need to check if, uh, if VODs were turned off. What would that be under? Video producer? Yeah, it says unpublished. Dashboard setting stream VOD section for the auto publishing. I don't see a VOD section under settings in stream VOD settings. Yeah, always publish VODs. Yeah, that's turned off. Yeah. Notice multiple instances of copyrighted audio were detected on your VODs within a 24 hour time period. We're, we've proactively updated your settings to unpublish VODs by default so that you have a chance to review your content and remove any copyrighted audio that might be in your videos. For more information on copyrighted audio warnings, visit this help article. All right. That's weird. I guess too many, too many happened then it flagged it. If I publish this while we're live, will it fuck up or no? Or will it continue to update even though we're live? Let's try it. Are you sure you want to publish fan art then a bit of Alan, Alan Wake 2 stream 2, that this will make it publicly accessible? Yeah, okay. All right, I hit publish. I don't know if it's gonna be there or not. And I turned auto publishing on again. All right, that sucks. All right, so, done. All right, now we continue. Someone asked me if I could summarize what happened in the back half of yesterday's stream. Um, we found Alan on the beach, and then we played as Alan going through some weird dark place thing where it was a talk show and he doesn't he's lost control, but maybe he has control, who knows? And the janitor from control was there. You should try medium graphics settings with RTX on it. Should be running well and still look good. I just, when we, t why can't I move? Now I can't. I just, when we turned DLSS on, uh, d too low, things looked a bit blurry to me and I didn't like it. Why is it so quiet? Let me turn it up. Balance low like that. That's fine. I was going to say I was not expecting Alan Wake 2 to blow me away with this presentation and writing. Hope it stays consistent for the rest of the game. This has been fun to watch. The writing has been a step up for most games for sure. Maybe even a couple steps up. No, they meant the medium quality preset, I think. I'm not doing that. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Ah, see, it looks pretty good. Even on low, right? Hello? Alan Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I like the I'll shot. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. 
I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Someone in chat said he looked it up, everyone. Apparently, you can set everything on mid and turn RTX on. It might be all good. Yeah, but if I wanted it to look like a PlayStation 5, I'll just get on PlayStation 5. It's right at my foot. We're on PC. If we see some big uh, dips again, then we will we'll turn it down a bit. With, with keeping low ray tracing on. Street station. But right now it's running quite well. To go there. It looks like it's above 60 to me. Okay, so this is where we were. We saw this conversation yesterday on at the end of stream, and I didn't save it. Close Casey. There's no closing the door on past sins. Night Springs. Lost. That's still going? When is Lost going to get a... Uh, a reboot. Alright, so this is going to be... You can't go over here. The story determined where I could go. And where I couldn't. Wider's block is back. Oh! Okay. Looks like we can't go this way. The between with Mr. Door... Most two most interesting things that have happened so far in the story is Rose being like, "Hey, it's Saga. Your daughter drowned. Remember?" And that's probably number one. And number two was the sheriff just quantum blipping out of existence. I wonder where that's going. Don't write. Lamayo got him. All right, cool. Fuck. Okay, Tomari just passed through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there. But there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. Okay, that looks like the place to go, but what about... We're never out of your way. This, this, there's a lot here. What? Vision TV shot. I think that Alan's had a bit of a rough time. He's probably spent a lot of time coming to the same conclusions and revelations over and over and over and over again, then losing them, and then doing it again, losing them, doing it again, and doing incremental progress. His own Evolve Idol lifestyle. Alright, can we get to that phone booth? 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 Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to go over here yet, and I'm gonna get slapped away. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Oh, that's not the way? Or do I need that light to bring here? That looks like a light I can take too. Maybe I need two lights. It was locked from the other side. Beer? Alma beer? Okay, can't get in there yet. On this side. Just write that it can. Feels like we're we were in this exact same spot in Forspoken. You die here, you die here, you lost here. Lost. Oh, these light sources are too small to steal. Okay, alright. Let's go get it. Order a Kanish. I need a Kanish. 
<laughs> you lost her. There was a light at the end of the alley ahead. Find out. Damn, so much in this. There's so much here. Holy crap. Well done. It's like one of our fan arts. It was in the page. What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Is it art though? The darkness feels a lot creepier than it did Goofy in the first one, huh? They're getting the tension much better this time. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really want to know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Does he know? This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Alice. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Man, I don't know if it's unique, but it, I don't remember seeing that somewhere else. Feels like there's a lot of unique graffiti and shit around the place. Damn. Maybe it'll repeat later. Like, look at this here, too. Cult of the Word. And words are printed on paper, and paper's made out of trees. It could not be opened on this side. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. It was gone. This is really impressive. Like, I don't know, I haven't walked down a lot of streets and alleyways that look like this, but I have a couple, and this is, like, damn. Holy fuck. This isn't, like, giving you the impression of it. It's, it's fucking bang on. Applied directly to the forehead. Oh, wait, what? What's about the door in that hall? What? There was something hidden here. Oh, that. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Fix wor words of power. Words of power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the writer's room. What? Oh, no. Words of fix. Words of gun. Words increases maximum health by 15. God rays 
Increases max amount of health restored in safe havens by 30%. Also, it makes RTX uh, harder to run. Okay. So that's his ver version of the of the scraps. Oh, okay. This um this doesn't make sense, does it? Okay. Let's see if I go through it again. Yeah, no. Okay. What if I now I've opened the door? Oh, okay. Huh. Neat. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, rest of the shadows block my way. Oh, let me just scoot right by you there. Flashlight, I could fight back. So you're not planning on using the upgrades? Do, do I have enough to use it? I thought I needed some more. Hold on. Can I just... Why does that have a 1 on it? Is that the only one I can use? Words of Stuff? Provides 5% chance not to consume... To not consume ammo when firing the revolver. Okay, can I get that one? No. So I, I have Words of Fix. So there's different types of words. Alright, so am I going to find enough to fill them all? should probably wait. Increase max amount of health restored in safe havens by 30% seems really good. Do I have to put in all three in order to unlock it? Or is this like 30% something something? Restore 3% max health when a new word of power is discovered. That's not going to happen that often. Um, let's try this one. Oh, now it's 60%. Alright, oh, that's really good. supposed to be aiming at, bro? Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be aiming it at the bright parts of the darkness. Okay, sorry, my bad. Didn't realize that it was the bright parts of the darkness that I was supposed to aim the flashlight at. I could use the light to open the sun. Yes, Joe, me, like I'm the idiot. We count those Joes, I'll take them. Odd Diner. Okay, why? What's the shoebox? Is it just storage, or is it between chapters you lose all your shit? I'm gonna guess it's storage. Weird that uh, Saga didn't get storage. How fucking big is this game? Rhetorical question, by the way. Most tantalizing bit of Sonic lore? Like, th his love of chili dogs, I just don't get it. Oh. I thought I was gonna open more over here. Light shift active. All right, just to, sorry, these were blocked before, right? Yes. All right. Okay, I know it might be a simple thing, chat. You know, it's not like it's been done in other games before, but this is my favorite part of the gameplay so far. This this light activated keys into locks. It's probably just how it's presented. I like it. It's cool. Game's telling me not to write, chat.
one second just finishing my coffee. Ugh, yuck. Oh, there were some bits at the bottom of that. Ugh. Bits, yeah, like rounds. Hmm. Down, I think, is going to lead to us being able to open that alleyway down there. So let's go up and see what's up here. I think this is going to be a little uh, ammo tree. Ocean View Hotel. Is Ocean View Hotel the the hotel from Align the Echo by approaching from a specific angle from Control? I've written books about Alex Casey for years. Not a lake, it's an ocean. Something lingered here, a line from a half-forgotten story. The rain tried to wash away the sins of this city, <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained doctor. bruises under my skin, like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. And I never stopped drinking. Scratch. Good delivery for that cheesy writing. Max Payne is like that too in my memory. I don't know if it holds up, but yeah, it's the cheesy writing delivered quite well. I'm wishing we'd stream Max Payne as uh, in Quantum Break. If I knew what I knew now. Okay, not knowing if they're going to attack or not is uh. Adding something for me. It's like, uh, is it worth a flashlight? Like, uh. Uh oh. Max Payne, yes, Quantum Break. Did you not see what happened in the first stream? Okay, yellow is always not the way. Words of Lamp. Main attraction restores 5% of max health when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. Provides 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost. Provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Okay, um, little bit of level design. Oh, there's so many different paths. Holy shit. November streams. If we stream anything in November, it'll be a, a little trial period of Baldur's Gate 3, but there might not be any streams in November, sorry. I have to kill the demon. Oh, you can't get down there? Oh, okay. We came up here for nothing. Really? Apart from that. Dangerous information, but you can go out of bounds with the slider. Well, I don't think I'm gonna do that this game. I think we've been breaking games a little too much lately. Starfield is a uh, different though, because I didn't try to break Starfield, but at the same time. Hello. Oh. Oh, hey, it's Alan. you. Hey. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash... Take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. 
or Lindor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. Uh, I mean, just go, go, go look at Luke, the poster. What are you talking about? The dark place. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Man, this is unraveling. I'll what is? Walls any day. Is he gonna get DLC? Remember, I was at the morgue. I was about to give the evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? Who, where, why, motive, why me? Facts, missing time, no memory, until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted, aliens, door, UFOs, polyhedrons, dreams, me, but not me. Others I know, yet are different. The red-headed woman. Huh. Um, Lamayo got him. Okay, I'm starting to worry that I was meant to go down into the subway and be like, fuck you, go somewhere else first. Be around, Alan. This is weird. Redheaded woman, Jesse. Yeah, maybe it's Jesse. Uh, let's keep pushing this a little bit and see what happens. What about the new map? We can see if you want, sure. Was that a new map or did it just add things to the map? These question marks? Echo. Can we go back into the talk show studio? Jesse had a doppelganger in control. Did she? I can't even I don't remember that at all. Did she really? I don't remember that game. Fucking hell. What's happening to me? Wait, what? Oh, neat. Where are we? Oh, does that make sense? Oh, not even a little bit. Oh, cool. Maybe she went and saved the... Oh, thank you. Do you issue checking the map often to see if there's echoes and stuff around, or, or what? There's an echo, point of interest here, echo down there. What is the yellow? Yellow is a stash, or... What? Oh, this? And is it gone now? No, it's still there. Scratch. And the paint uh, running down looks like scratches. Nice. Hmm. Alright. I feel like I missed some stuff here. Line? Oh, sorry. My bad. What'd I miss? Oh, it's right there. Alright, is that the yellow? Yeah, that's it. So these are these are words. Alright, so words, echo, crates. Did we miss one up there or what? Alright, what's the word that we got? Words of power. Words of war. Increases damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver chamber by 25%. Paint the town. Increases double barreled shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Goes around. Restores 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with the flare gun. Alright, all of these are bad. I guess paint the town. Chat, why is there no lot of the stream? Uh, because of multiple copyright claims. Me. Uh, auto publishing of VODs got turned off. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I can call these. Wait, what? Uh oh. Come on! 
increases from knockback force of Allen's shotgun. 5% chance to not consume power, not consume ammo with the revolver. Ah, you know what? Whatever. Oh shit! Okay. Well, he's not gonna be an Alan Wake 3. Those are hard to see, which makes sense for what they are, but... God damn it. That's what you get for running around with 20% HP. Hey, I don't judge how you play games, you don't judge how I play games. You should though, I'm a streamer. This is what I'm here for. Judge away. God damn it. What you does with throwing knives? I don't, if you want to use throwing knives, you go for it. Find else. Okay, what was it? Um, 5% chance not to use gun uh, ammo, yeah. So now I have infinite ammo. Uh, how can I double light? Wait, didn't I take the light? Can I take two light? Huh, okay. Uh, I won't go back and save it, just in case I die. You know what, there's probably gonna be a, a safe room down here. Maybe I'm gonna need another light for down here. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. <laughs> Alan! Do we fight against his dark presence or what? Um, so spoilers for the control DLC. Uh, apparently, Alan made the hiss, so I don't think this is the same as the hiss. But maybe he made them, but also lost control of them. Possibly, I don't know. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Oh yeah, we do. We do have a ticket. Okay, now we're gonna go through. Hey there, please pay the fare. It helps us run better service. Oh, fare is optional. They're asking. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half forgotten memory. An echo. <laughs> I love this shit. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. That's that's cool. Something was here. A vision of Dr. Rodriguez. He was a VI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next. Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. That, that's from the first game! I know that! I recognize that because I, I played the first it. game. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Select the FBI agent, FBI agent plot element and activate it with enter to rewrite reality in the Caldera station. Oh, we're doing what now? Things clicked into place. Ah! The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. You 
think you are God, I think? You think you can just mix stuff up? You think you can play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You are in the story now and I'll make you suffer. Stephen King had already been a source of, had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about the all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. This is great! I like this a lot. This is really creative. You just walk right by it too. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills from pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. L just look at me. Look at me. Look at your work. All right. Why I love this is like this could just be like like a, a no. It probably is an actual fucking poster that's advertising the subway pass. It's like if you're gonna use a subway a lot, why not buy a subway pass? Available at all store. You know, I mean, it's 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 the structure and it's just the words are changed, even though the structure of the of the poster. Is still there. It's so good. I understood what I had to do. Next. <laughs> it's not a lake. It's an ocean. Do not enter or cross tracks. I remember when Alan Wake said that in the first game. All right, I saw yellow. 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 Up. Is that a word? Can I see it? Ah, okay. What the fuck? I missed that one. Words of gun. Yeah, definitely 10% chance. Look at the PSA posters. Where are they? Mirror heights except late nights. The glowing ones? What glowing ones? Those? These ones over here? Yeah, we looked at them, yeah. You may not be the only you out there. Please carry a portable light with you in some way. Sorry, I didn't read these out loud because I, I, I looked at them when Casey was talking. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Power outages do occur. Identity theft is on the rise. You might get scratched out. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. Yeah, see, this is one that survived and isn't changed. And the structure is still there. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but their arrow can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is, is what stays with us the longest. We care about your safety. Man, it's gonna suck so bad when Final Fantasy 16 beats this for Game of the Year. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was desperately, desperately trying to reach my destination. I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. Okay, that looks like I'm gonna get moited. Let's go down here and see if we can find a safe room. <laughs> Footsteps. Did I miss anything back there? Subway undiscovered map, okay. What's worse, Final Fantasy 16 winning Game of the Year Starfield? I think Final Fantasy 16 might be worse. The sound of that. I said this yesterday or the day before. If Starfield wins, I'm gonna think that it was a uh, conspiracy paid off. But if it's uh, if Final Fantasy 16 wins, I could see that somehow in a fucked up way actually happening without being being bought, and that would make me upset. Deputy Mulligan turned turn tuned Thornton's shatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was any place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. American Nightmare. We have the map now. Do we have... Does it show... No, it doesn't show points of interest. Okay. Maybe we can find one of, uh, one of the quantum break... Um, the caches. tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Finding the yellow arrows to f uh, for the 
gameplay stuff seems to be more organic just in this one too. Like I'm looking around, oh, like oh yellow, like, I could have missed that, you know. I don't know, maybe I'm just like in honeymoon period. Increases hand flares of area effect by 13% and duration by one second. Whoa, what an increase. Increases effectiveness of trauma pads by 10%. Increases affection duration of painkillers by one second. Well, now I know there are painkillers. Um, I don't know, er, I don't know. I used the flares a lot before, but I don't know if I'm gonna use them in this one. Uh, more healing is always good. Okay, so we're here. Yeah, let's go down here and see what's here. It was locked from the other side. Ooh. Quite the cache. Oh, it scratches duct tape. Fuck. Triangle cult? Tree? Scratch tree? Lost? Yeah, these are the ones that, uh... Yeah, we got this already. Okay. Almost like a W. This feels like the game knows how to be genuinely unnerving, but it but it has the continuation of the kind of silly jump scare sh shit. So I'm kind of in a, okay, we need to get through the Alan Wake 1 to get to the Alan Wake 2 vibe here. Haha! I dragged you all through it! See? It gets good one game in. Now you can watch The Expanse. See? My work here is done. Light sources being both healing checkpoints and also I want to steal it and take it somewhere else is also a pretty cool uh, development on that system. A lot of good ideas here. Collapse Another tunnel. Another place to use in this story. Alan Wake, you're... I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. You found a new scene. Go to the plot board uh, to rewrite reality in a collapsed tunnel. Yeah, what if I don't? What if I'm just like, fuck I it, no. I found another compelling location to use. I'm good. I'm just gonna leave. No, I have to do it. Okay. Single plot element can be used in multiple scenes. Select the FBI agent plot element and activate it with the enter. Activate it with enter to rewrite reality in a collapsed tunnel. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. I'm expecting a train to come out of this tunnel. To be on this case. The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. I wonder if we're making this cult happen right now, and the murders happen. That Casey spoke about earlier with Saga. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. I had a feeling something was waiting there. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. Yellow? I see yellow, I pog. Why nothing? Is it because the game thinks I'm doing well and I don't need resources right now, or...? Hmm. I wonder if that's that kind of difficulty. Maybe hard mode? Yeah, maybe it is because of hard mode. Alright, so, let's see. That is... That looks like that. Is it gonna change? Another echo lingered here. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's different. Yeah, okay. Word of lamp. We're getting these very quickly. Restores five percent of max health when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. Lucky strike. Fifty percent chance to regain flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Yeah, let's do it. Seventy-five percent chance. Word is, word is, your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? 
there's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. She's from the Wake diner, right? Even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. Is it? It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way, but I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. Hey Raiders, we're playing Alan Wake 2. RT Raiders? Oh crap. The Raiders are here, it's time to die. What was RT uh, gaming on? Did I get any lucky procs there with any of my words of power or no? Mario Wonder? Oh, nice! I was playing that with Finn earlier. Finn's my oldest son. We did a couple levels. Playing with the with the detached Joy-Con, it's so awkward. It's such a small little controller. Even he wasn't happy with it. Finn is 23. <laughs> Finn is 8 for, for new people. Finn is 8. He's not 23. I'm not that old. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. Did he ever beat Dark Souls? No, he uh, stopped playing after doing Painted World and Orange and the Smoke. He went back and played Terraria for a bit. Then he started playing Stardew Valley, Valley Expanded on my computer downstairs. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Let's go back and save it. He just has really good taste, so he knows the game falls apart after that. At the oil derrick, the wheel had been- Wait, no! Really? The wheel had been jammed in the place, uh, and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Casabian Cas CD- I can't believe there's a reference to American Nightmare. Wow. High above some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Damn. It was worth it? Nah. Yeah, it was. Imagine having the opposite experience. Imagine playing this one first and then going back to check out all the old material and being like, what? Then I went back to American Nightmare and almost gagged. Hey, Alan. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. <laughs> I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. Let's team up. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Like Quantum Leap. Alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like Door. The sketch you have does look like the Door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the Door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. But does he know that you know that he knows that you know? He was on Homeland, wasn't he? The actor who plays Door? Was that the morgue? Oh, this is the same place. This is the same thing. Okay, is this the same room to you and you don't know? Hmm. 
No, you, you're putting supplies around the place, so maybe not. Red, oh, red was new? Okay, one second. What is this place? A dream feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Not Now New York. Not New York City. A way to other places. A nexus. A, this door, the gatekeeper, or trying to get somewhere, everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window, chan. All right. These were th this uh, there last time. Man, so he controls all the pathways to different places, and he's called Mr. Door. Someone was a, a really big fan of Tolkien that, that wrote this. Alright, so I said at the end of stream yesterday that maybe I prefer Alan in the dark room and I don't really like it when he came back, but so far this has been better than the saga section, and I was enjoying the saga section, so... Hmm. Scratch! Colorful. Oh no! Okay, so three headshots or two headshots and two shoulder hits will kill them. So headshots matter. Why headshots matter? Sago's better, I'm a big Anderson stan. Me too. Yes we stan. Does the light work on them faster in this one? Yes, but also it doesn't recharge on its own. And um, holding it against them doesn't do anything. Although maybe it does on normal mode. You have to use the a, a part of your battery in order to get the darkness off of them. So we're gonna play Quantum Break at some point. Yeah, probably. I think so. Even if it's a bad game, I'd like to have the full story. You need help. Good luck. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. What? this I should look at the plot board to figure out a way forward okay not ready for this yet I had a new scene to use a new setting murder call do I get to choose I get to choose? Estevez! Estevez! That was from, um... End of Control DLC, right? Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Let's add the murder call. Oh, you can switch them! Story was affecting the scene. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. <laughs> torso shots also do significantly less damage. Three torso shots won't kill them either. 
further back. I have to align it, right? There you go. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. <laughs> the story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. Sounds nothing like Jesse. Oh, that's not Jesse. I think that's the girl the from the diner that we saw earlier. I don't think that's meant to be the uh, the red-headed woman. That's a different character that wants that, I think. The new story beat fit the story perfectly. All right, miss switching over to FBI agent means that that gets cl oh. Well, hold on. What if I? And then switch it back. It was locked from the other side. Okay, so it let me in, but oh, it's different. Huh. Wrong one. <laughs> All right, well played. <laughs> this is the wrong one. It's torchbearers. It keeps moving. Torchbearers. Sorry, there we go. But it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. So I don't think Alan realizes that he is probably making this all real as he just riffs to get through a dream to see if he can get through this subway. Ugh. Alan, no! These poor people. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something to do back there though. Do I have to bring a light back? No, there's a, there'd be, um, there'd be a little tutorial thing or icon on screen, right? So what, where's, oh, there, okay, there. Fuck, I missed that. Wake. Lime got him. I had to figure this out on the plot board. Wait, does this change too? No. Okay. Why even add this gimmicky upgrade system? Eh, I think it's adding some gameplay bonuses that it incentivizes exploring. Maybe they could have been a, a touch more powerful, but they're definitely not 5% poison resistance. Let's not compare it to Game of the Year Lies of P, okay? That's not fair. change it you can only rewrite reality in a scene you're currently in okay so it's only in front of the derail chain okay I couldn't add a new element from here I'd have to go to this just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air and let me tell you the weather is getting heavy nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed once the weather takes a turn like this I can't sleep at all it's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare is that the Pat on the radio? Heavy, heavy rain. Heavy rain. 
Heavy rain. Heavy, 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 heavy rain. Alright, now I can change it. And the door stays open. Interesting. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Can't go back on the train, though. Shot in the dark there. Words of action. Increases damage dealt to enemies in close proximity by 10%. Alright, that's always. Never there. Makes Alan 20% harder for enemies to detect. Hmm. Decreases damage received from the darkness projectiles by 25%. Let's go never there. Looks like the way. So what's over here? Twenty cents harder to see, you say? All right, you know what? Let's flashbang. Did not do very well. When did it save it? Oh, that's good. Don't mind me, guys. God rays? Yeah, it's good. Nothing. Okay, anything over there? It doesn't look like it, right? I think we just uh we just leave. Can we look at the map? Yeah, we're good. was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Okay, multiple lights. Bullseye. Okay, this one there's anything over there to get, right? I'm just worried there is something there. What? So sometimes they die just from the flashlight? Oh, it's one of those uh, dome cameras. Okay, there was nothing there. Hmm. All right. Uh oh. Hey, Joe, are you hungry? Yeah, I could eat. Hunted. Now even the art of the subway that isn't graffiti is a part of it. A 
Okay. Uh. Wait, what? What did that do? Aha, uh -huh. okay. There, where are we? Let's check it out. Something's here. Arrow. bad misses there fuck I can't shoot very fast I need to make sure that the crosshairs are going down although I still might have missed there where is this arrow pointing to it's not that one is it oh Favorite puck diameter? Hard mode. Oh, is that one... That one's pointing to that one? Oh, okay. They're not different ones then. Alright. This looks good, actually. You mean visually? Like, the visuals in the game are stunning. Um, the gameplay's pretty good, too. It's not my... F it's not gonna be my favorite gameplay experience, but... Uh, if we're talking about just the combat, eh, it's alright. But the overall gameplay of exploring everything's pretty fun. Fifteen percent chance to not to not sh use any ammo. Here we go. Rolling the dice. Boom. No ammo. 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 Boom. Oh yeah, we did it. Here's some little kill buttons. It doesn't? It does. Hmm. They were fake though? How could I tell? Let them attack me? It seemed like they were coming toward me, and usually the ones that come toward me are the ones that will attack, but maybe not. The Echoing Hall had a story to tell. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. Oh, shit. What kind of AA meeting happened here? Speaking of media with AA meetings in it, what the fuck is uh, up with Breaking Bad being used to sell potato chips? I saw that ad on YouTube today. What the fuck? Nightingale. I'm confused. YouTube has ads. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Don't write. What if I write in here? Crunching bad. 
Ah, it kicks me out. The plot okay. changes shape the world around me. I was playing music for the kids on uh, on the TV. Wake. Wake. Right. This doesn't seem like it changed enough. What if we change it to Murder Cult? The whole changed into the Murder Cult's hideout. Uh, all right, I guess we're Jared Leto now. All right, we look the part. What the fuck? The cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. Writer, the first word, not the last, and the shadow. I open. This is your time. Ritual friends will meet. The writer, not of the last, the shadow cast, third eye, project the night. This is your time. When you're gone, not the writer, the light, shadow, to write, to lead, will meet. Okay, look, look, he's communicating us with special phrases. As long as we cross out almost all the words on the page, and then you read it, look. Are these legible holy shit they are they must repeat there's probably like 10 of them maybe they repeat whoa the fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder oh, site. All right, so I can change it I even more now. For the story. Summoning ritual. It worked, I'm here. Imagine having a cult. Completely unbelievable. Okay, I felt. I feel like this is supposed to have done something more than it did. I don't understand. Do I walk around a bit now and see? Come on, kill those dudes. Don't worry. Okay, some of those were just fucking RNG. Fucking Hunt Showdown there. Am I dead? Atlantis aim? Is that meant to be Atlantic Canada aim? Okay, so where? Oh, it, it's it auto saves quite a bit. Okay, so I should never heal. All right. Can you heal in this game? You believe it or not, you can't. I, um... Oh, now there's a Mr. Scratch. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing at the moment. Did I miss something obvious down there? Am I supposed to move a light? Am I supposed to change it to one and then change it to the murder cult? Oh, 
Oh fuck, where the fuck did they come from? Crazy there's no time for dying. I mean, you know, some people in chat lose some coins. Never tried torchbearers? I think I did. I think I tried them all, didn't I? I had a new idea. A new story thread. Missing FBI agent is the one that you can go inside. And then Torchbearers is the one that has more uh, than one of these, isn't it? Yeah. Two. Oh, we can go that way with this one. This is the only place we can change it. And then if we go to Murder Call, that showed all the pages, right? Yeah, that's all the pages. That's closed now. And then here we have um, Summoning Ritual, which is the one that we got at the end after doing all these. This yeah, there we go. Create something terrible in the scene, but it's what the story needed. Wake. All right, what would it make? Do I have to look at something somewhere? Wake. No, it's not there. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Press control. Yeah, but I've seen enough people in chat say that I don't want to do that now. I feel like I should be able to figure it out. Like, I should be able to understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Favorite fictional language? English. It's all made up. Uh, I don't know. Klingon, because it's just so ridiculous. Can I go... Can I go into the FBI one and then change it when I'm in there? Maybe? Let's try that. That sounds like it could be fun. Oh, it, it works, but... Oh, what? Well, this doesn't feel like something I was supposed to be able to do. What if we go to Murder Cult now? Same thing, okay. Okay, let me look around one more time, and if I can't figure it out, then I'll hit control and see what the game wants me to do. I feel like I should be able to figure this out. How did I get through here? There's so many of them. Call to the line. <laughs> right, we did it. Joe would absolutely die in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, fuck you, Chatter! I lived. I lived, bitch. Okay, so that, this wasn't open, except for on this path, I guess? Yeah, seems like it. Seems a bit too easy. 
Word of action. 35% harder. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. 50% harder. Don't spread the word. You watch the stream at all, Lily? Yeah, I was watching. Yeah. Did you see all the fake uh, posters and everything on subway? No. No. no so it's like it's it's posters and they, and they they look like actual authentic subway posters, but all the writing is wrong and it's all different bits from his book and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. There is touch. There's detail. I like the creepy voice guy. The what? The creepy voice guy. The creepy voice guy. Who's he? Alan. Alan? Wink. Oh, Wink. okay. This is my story. Yeah, Mr. Randolph liked Rose. There we go. That little smile she had. <laughs> and the, all the formatting is like an actual subway poster. That's really cool. No, I was watching for it. wasn't watching for a bit. I just was watching the window. Okay. On and off constantly. Just gonna close that door behind me, eh? See you later. What are those? Batteries? Huh. I noticed there are lamp icons very healthy. Yeah, I don't know what those are for. Are those the amount of um, light charges I have in the magic wand? Maybe that's what it is. That's probably likely, yeah? Upper platform. Okay, do I have to look at it from the other angle or what? Turns out the cultists weren't the only ones using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs mark secret roots. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Alan Wake. Uh oh. Alright, he's moving shit around. These two are. These are they're not dangerous. Uh-oh. Shit, shit, shit! Man, this game loves its chromatic aberration. Okay, nothing's here? Really? Nothing. Huh. Maybe if I change the scene and I come here, there'll be something here. Or maybe I missed an arrow. Eh, whatever, let's keep going. Go back. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving into them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. <laughs> the formatting just, it works so well. Highest FPS setting you can discern? I don't know. I know I can definitely tell above 60 frames per second. Because when I got a 144 frame hertz monitor, or f I should don't know why I say fucking frame hertz, um, I could tell that it was smoother. And when I went downstairs and, and went to a different computer um, at the time, after 60, I can tell that it's not as smooth. So somewhere around there, I don't know how high it goes, but I, I could tell the difference. Now, could I tell that difference with something more complicated, like a game? I don't know, but I definitely could tell just from moving a mouse cursor around on a desktop that it was smoother above 60. It's not like it's an ocean. What does that mean? We missed a word down there. 
Or or did we? Did we? Aha! Word of fix. Yes! Alright! 56% health, very safe haven. Now we don't need to heal ever again. No more healing on this run. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Now, increasing our health max increases the amount of healing we get. Okay, so now we're going out of the main tunnel, maybe? Were we here, were we here before? This looks somewhat familiar. Yeah, we got this one already. Yeah, okay, so we're, now we're back going through it again. Do we use the new ward that we have at different places? We're, we're, we're still on... Oh, wait, hold on. It's not going to affect everything. It's only going to affect the localized area. So I need to go to a different scene and write it. Where the fuck was that? I can't remember now. How did we... Where did we go from here? Joe, I'm once again asking for a pee break. Weak bladder. Pathetic. Oh, uh, yeah, we can have one in just a second. Okay, so this is the beginning, right? Plot board. Alright, so we have plot board, and we go here, and we change it to... Missing FBI agent. This would move the story forward. What did that do? That's what it was before. Oh, so not all of them are are applicable everywhere. Okay, what am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to leave? I came down here and I got... My brain is telling me that I should be using the, the new one that we got on, on a different location. But it didn't work here. Let's go back through and see if we can find a different one. Is the gameplay the game's weakest point? Probably, but it's not weak. Like, it's fine. The shooting and the flashlight and landing headshots, it's fine. Okay, was one of them here? We went through this train. He hates pressing control. I want to figure it out myself. F okay, here we go. FBI agent. Summoning ritual. Wait, is this the wrong one? This is it. I feel like we made something happen here. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, cool. We did it. All right, I guess we're done. Nope, nope, we don't. Well, we do, just faster than that. Okay. All right, you know what? That's a pretty good scene. All right, I'll be back in five minutes. Go use the bathroom, walk around if you've been seen the whole time. That was Underground from the Deadly Premonition OST. Taking a suit break. We'll now return to Alan Wake 2. We're about to get chased by a fucking tornado through the subway station. Can you do your best radio DJ impression? My weeb, I just did it. You were there. The top Fuck. 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 Yeah, that wasn't very good running, was it? Right, you're not allowed in the safe room. You're not allowed in the safe room. I couldn't hear the dark presence. Put all this crap gone. in there that we don't need. Oh wow, this is this is not good. 
You know what? Let's keep one just in case there's like a part where it's like you have to have one or else you're going to die. Pain medication restores a small amount of health quickly and, and replenishes additional health. Oh, we'll just, we'll just keep that then. Okay, never mind. There you go. Uh, what was... Wait, what? Oh. The tunnel was open. <laughs> Oh, it's back! Run! Run! I have to ch no, I don't have to change something. I just keep going. The dark presence. I had seen it before. Joms. I remembered now. Was always out there, hunting me. Favorite disease vector? What's that again? Is that how it spreads? Yes. Airborne, it's the scariest thing. You know how much I, I love scary things. Favorite, I think you should leave Skit. It's not the funniest, but some part of me really appreciates the hot dog one. So probably that one, but the drive through one, I've only ever seen clips. I've never sat and, and watched the whole episode of I think you should leave. Um, the drive through one's funny. The one about his stupid hat in the courtroom scene is funny. Uh... The monster that busts through his um, his cat door is also pretty funny. But I think the hot dog one. Oh, is this a statue? Or is it uh, his, the actual corpse? Oh, it's the actual... It's, well, actually, no, it still might be. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. Oh, so she made this happen. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Yeah. 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 This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but... I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed. Oh, so this is a side. How he got out. The tower. It's part Where of how he got out. With Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. In its end of part. <laughs> so specific. At the end of the game, it's going to show us the number of the parts, and it's not in the order that you think. Will it ever let me go? 
Nice little song to decompress with at the end of chapters. I like it. Cool game, man. Do you think Saga's intuition power is some sort of connection she has to our place? Maybe. Oh yeah, for sure. She's she's she might not even. Oh wow, she might not even be real. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Look for. Oh, we're gonna go see Alice. Open parentheses. Who the fuck is? Close parentheses. Can we get back to the old location we just passed through? Do you think eventually? I'm gonna guess. Oh, whoa! What the fuck? Who was writing who? Who was right. writing this poem? Me? No. It's you. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadows cast, the third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. When your friends will meet him, when you are, your friends will meet him, when you are gone. Hey, just tuning in, what do you think of the game so far? Well, despite that, um, I'm really digging it. I think the game is great. I'm having, a, I'm having a blast. I hope it ends well. Maybe it won't. Us Alan Wake fans are used to bad endings that DLC have to fix. But I just hope they avoid it this time. Stepping into the murder site, I felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see. And yet, making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. <laughs> Man, it's wild to me that it's fucking, I don't know, two decades later and somehow Max Payne is back in my life with one of the, the, the biggest games of the release of this year so so long later. It's crazy. Finally a seven out of ten game. Well let's not let's go let's not go mad. We're not there yet. Six point five at best right now. Would you recommend watching Alan Wake 1 streams to play Alan Wake 2 or is the first game still worth playing? Um, if you don't give a fuck and you're just looking for the easiest one, I guess you could watch them, sure. If you don't have time. Um, but, you know, it's always better to play it yourself. What about, what about Max payne -mas? Ooh. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, we're back here. Ah, all right. The station had changed. I was closer now. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. What's the new plot beat? Okay, so this can only be missing FBI agent. This can be torchbearers missing or, or summoning ritual. That can be all four. That can be all four. Um, did we? We didn't do summoning ritual on the on the derailed train, did we? I wonder if that gives you something. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do or if I'm supposed to leave. It said something about getting to the building, so I think leaving is is the place to go right now. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. We have four of those. Okay, so there was uh, something missed down here. A word. I don't know what these are. Um, can we see the subway station? Is that the subway station? Doesn't look like we missed anything in the subway station. Maybe we did. Wheeler Street down here. There's something down here too next to this talk show radio. Let's go let's go see if we can get that one. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey Alan, thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? 
Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Yeah. Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? Can't believe Scratch is important. Can't believe Scratch is important. Alright, sit down here for the for the yellow circle. Yes. Okay. Word to fix. Yes. Ma increase maximum health. Nice. Nice. All right, now what? Do we want to go get this one? It's on the way to Parliament Tower. Go, comp what, there's another one? Shit. Or is it saying there was one here? Ocean. The dark place. How much longer are we going? Um, Probably 20 minutes. I don't want to go super late again. I know we started late, so it's going to be a short stream. But, um, yeah. Action. Okay. 50% harder to detect now, that's good. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna stream tomorrow though, chat. Um, I have some stuff I need to do. Um, I also need to either f try better to fix Lily's computer or I need to try and reassemble one from all the different parts or assemble a new one from all the different parts. So I might take tomorrow off. Uh, there's also some recording I wanna do um, that I was trying to do while streaming on days we're streaming, but it didn't happen. It seems like streaming dominates a lot of the day when it is a streaming day. So I think maybe we'll take tomorrow off and we'll come back on Monday. But I want to continue playing the game, so it's not ideal for me even from a fun perspective, you know? Maybe he was a victim. Maybe he was a writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or... Maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Yeah, that's true. I wonder... I wonder if Alice... What does Alice remember of her time in the dark place? When, maybe she wrote Saga. Maybe she's like, fuck, you're not the only one who can write a story, Alan. Fuck you. Someone said there's something in the middle of the plaza. Oh, this is different. What? Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. Oh. He was not very old in the first game. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Please have elevator music. Please have elevator music. Load screen time. Do 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 do. Wait, what, what, I'm in an elevator. Where's the load screen? What? What, what sorcery is this? Todd. <gasps> Haunting in initiation three. Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! All right, where's that coffee maker?
Is he child size again? Part one. What was Alice working on? No, it doesn't seem like it. This is not the same apartment. Is that on purpose? I would say yes. I think they would recreate the same apartment if it was the same apartment. Because they recreated the diner. Maybe this this building was uh, taken down brick by brick and all the bricks were moved to a different part of the city to make sure that it was rebuilt the same way that it was before. Focal point of the dark place. Video art doc on screens. Malt. Okay. block I brought out a meaner side of him one I didn't like I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington I didn't tell him until we got there we argued things went wrong Paper being folded into origami. Alan was back. Haunting me. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet. It was a monster. Monster, Alan. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Ooh. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. Intentionally, my base. Caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. It's a dark place. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. <laughs> oh. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Maybe you were. We're here right now. Okay, the art of the of Alice Wake. Okay, is is this real or is this his dream though? Um 
Oh, hold on one second. There might be something else to see around here. I like that link back to why there was cameras set up when we came through the elevator, though. That's neat. Wait, this is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. Wasn't that the hotel the in control? Wasn't here before. Yeah. Alice. Pick photos or exhibition posters. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is not the same apartment. And he says that this is the study where he used to write. Where it, it was two rooms next to each other like this, and then the kitchen was in here, and not the bedroom. Why would they change it? Hmm. Maybe they just did? Maybe they just wanted it to look different? Hmm. Where's the bathroom? Is there even a bathroom? Yeah, this is not a this is not the real apartment then. It's just a weird recreation, like amalgamation of memory or whatever. There's no bathroom. Right? Where doth they piss? Here? story initiation to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out the story had brought me here brought me nowhere loop me back I was writing this story and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room but there was no one here writing it yeah it's, that's about right yep Nothing unusual there. Oh no. scratch all along. That was a short part. Did we hear this one? Yes, yeah, it. Sometimes I think the tutorials are showing up when they shouldn't be. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. Can't believe can be still alive. From the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, <laughs> you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger, Mr. Scratch, or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. Yeah, he hates Deerfest. It's an important day. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it, this will be back writer, in by the way. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. 
The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look. Wait. I oh. know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. Wrong subtitle. It's like, it's like, it's like a half-forgotten dream. On Deerfest. <laughs> yeah, synchronized coffee sips. This is my favorite bit. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. What is the limitation of this? Editing. <gasps> it's like God of War! It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness. Possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. Yeah. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan. If I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Intuition time? Yeah, profiling. So this is the supernatural one. This is the normal one. Or the one that you can deduce something from. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place, scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. With his ass. In he likes to twerk. He's hunting Wake. Uh -oh. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Yeah, is that a little bit of eyeshadow that's been scrunched up at the top of her eyes there? It looked like it again. Maybe it's just bad shadows? I don't know. Or just weird shadows. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe Saga is Scratch, and she has deleted that part of her as for a part of the reason just to be able to act as a free agent. I don't know. It's weird that Alan was surprised when she showed up, even though he wrote it. But then again, his memory's so faulty. Okay. Mr. Wake. 
I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. I knew it! Be careful with them. You've been writing. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Okay. Okay, now what? Do we talk to Casey? No? We just we just leave. What does Control say? Learn more about the clicker. Do we do more profiling? What do, what do the bookers have to do with this? No, we do we do case board? New case? Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Where is the clicker? Well I think it's on it's on the page. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all of this. Okay. Drive to Watery. All right, there we go. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay. I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No! You need me there! No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Oh, yeah? I'll, I'll just write one. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Oh, where's the janitor's break room? Is it? Oh, it's in here. Oh, were we Auti then? Listening in? Shoot. Oh, oh wait, hold on. I was going to say maybe it carries over, but it doesn't. So Alan's items are Alan's items and Saga's items are Saga's items. No sharing. No sharing. Alright, that's fine. Switch reality. Okay. Um play Alan chapter is awesome and we don't have time like we, we have to end the next 27 minutes at the absolute latest and I think we should end a little bit sooner than that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's a new um, commercial in the diner you wrote these pages in the dark place so why are we finding them here I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages when this happened before the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me maybe the same thing is happening here Next chapter is That's 20 minutes. Alright, all fuck it. Thank you for your yep. I, I I trust you, chat. What could go wrong? So we're done by 7.55. I was back. I wasn't able to escape. A dark presence had stopped me. This way, it's not including combat, especially with your NA aim. <laughs> oh, okay, the thanks. Final page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar, important. I had to find it. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. All right. What do I do then? What do I do? Write. I need to. Oh, I need to write. Let's write. It's not looking good, 20 minute bros. Of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out. It's still in danger. Why is it getting quiet? Forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestled with in the dark hours of the night. 
together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment Cringe. The story of the yep. journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. Yeah, let's do it. So I can switch back whenever I want. So I can pro pro I can progress a little bit of, of um. It was locked from the other side. Of Alan, and then progress a little bit with uh, Saga. Interesting. Okay. You're walking in the woods. You grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Let's just go up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this way. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Imagine being the one who thought of this, trying to explain and convince everyone that you're gonna do it. <laughs> no, no, you guys are gonna sing and dance. What? Yeah. You mean the, the models? No, 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 we're gonna film it. fun. And your goes to. <laughs> also, it's not the only one we're gonna do.
And all your stories of crime <laughs> killing thrillers of hard boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much, I had to get away. Those traced rays. Wait, where do I go? Or do I just wait? Go back and get the light from before. I'm lost bit I'm lost chat, sorry. What I do? What I do? What's wrong?
Okay, follow the arrow. I was doing that before and, it, and I, I just lost it. Sorry. It's fine, it's fun. Why did you give me a gun? Oh. Get your lighters out. Richard Lambert? I thought it was an enemy, holy shit! first one as well. Oh, okay. I think I only have one shot. Oh, I have a bunch. Never mind. Oh, why were you stunned? I need to uh, group them up together and shoot them. And aim. I didn't miss many shots. What are we talking about? Still you picked our shot. Do you hear me complaining, Chatter? It's fine. Why did he just die?
up that way. Wait for Solo. <laughs> Must have got her on the on the edge of the radius sun, okay. to heal. What if I just run through? Whoa, you just jumped up and threw it. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, shit. All right, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to fight and heal. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I could run through. So the cinematic dodge timing isn't in this game then. You actually just have to physically dodge it instead of just pressing dodge at the right time, it seems like. Yeah, I actually hate the flashlight. It's so hard to tell where it's gonna, like, what the fuck? What's the timing on that for dodging the, uh, the range? Yeah, he has less health. What the fuck is... So if he does his, if he puts his arms up, it doesn't do any damage? Does it have to hit like his head or something? Why was the flashlight not doing damage to him when he put his arms up? It blocks it. You're straight up aiming at the wrong part of the body. With the flashlight, you have, you have to hit their head? Oh, fuck. He did too, he did too. If you want to hit the body, you have to shine a light at their heart. Did the game tell me that and I forgot? I don't remember saying, hey, you have to hit their torso with the, with the flashlight. That would just sh shine the light on them. People are going to say it did, whether it did or didn't. All right, well, I'm sorry, but it's like 8 o'clock. Right, we have to we have to stop. I can't go late tonight. We have to go. It was implied with the source spot with heart. That's kind, that's kind of weird that it's like, hold on. Like, if I shoot at their, at their head, right? It is their chest. That's that's weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how uh, how much longer this is gonna go on, and we're right at time for about time for the girl. Sorry. The game the game expects you to do a bit of critical thinking. You can see where the sparks are coming. You trying to make me mad, mad Balder? You trying to make me mad? All anyway, right, I'll see you uh, either. I don't think it's gonna be tomorrow. I think we're gonna we're gonna continue on Monday. I want to do some recording and I want to uh, see if I can fix Lily's computer and do some um, some prep for Halloween as well. 
Anyway, see you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your weekend.